The Highlights, today on 9 News at 5 o'clock. College Football Today is a special presentation of ABC Sports. It was September 24, the play being called the Hail Mary Miracle, and Colorado beat Michigan 27-26. A week later, a 24-yard field goal in the final seconds, and Colorado beat Texas 34-31. Both games on the road, both remarkable stuff of legends. At Nebraska, option master Tommy Frazier had the Cornhuskers rolling in highly ranked. Then blood clots, street clothes, and sidelines for Frazier. The search for a quarterback. Number 18, Brooke Barringer, steps out. Then goes down with a collapsed lung. But now he's back, healthy, running and passing. And there is number one, Ibac Lawrence Phillips, running and running and running. Sports College Football and the College Football Association present the Big Eight Blockbuster. Number three, Colorado. Number two, Nebraska. The Bo Coalition top ten standing. Penn State on top plays Ohio State later today on ABC Sports. Right now in Lincoln, number two, Nebraska. Number three, Colorado. And there are some who feel the winner of this game could move into that number one position. Hello, everybody. Keith Jackson. Behind me, Memorial Stadium, University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Today, the Cornhuskers will have their 200th consecutive home sellout. It's a string that goes all the way back to 1962. That's a long time. A couple of good reasons for it. One, they win a lot, and the people come to support their team. Today, the unbeaten Colorado Buffaloes are thundering across the plains to take on the undefeated Nebraska Cornhuskers. But it reminds me of that old Roger Miller lyric, you can't roll a skate in the buffalo herd? Well, I would suggest to you that the Cornhuskers intend to find out. Bob Greasy for the X's and O's in a moment. People are much more satisfied than they have been in the past. Now with quality care standards, we have some guidelines to follow. This is what the customers want. They want to have their appointment within a day. They want to have their car fixed right the first time. This is them speaking. Anything we can do to make it better. It's not just meeting the standards that people are setting for us, but exceeding them. Something we're doing is working. <laughs> quality care people, quality care standards at your Ford and Lincoln Mercury dealer. PageNet reminds you, life is a contact sport. Right. Has the plumber called back yet? Want to get that? No. And it's a whole lot easier if you stay in contact. Can you get that? Uh, double cheese, extra pepperoni. Will somebody please get that? Who knows more about staying in contact than PageNet, America's number one wireless messaging company. Nobody gives you better coverage coast to coast. I don't need some fancy cologne to tell me I'm a man. I use Skin Bracer. It smells great. But it also cools and tones my skin. Confidence is very sexy. Don't you think? Original and cooling blue. By men and... Don't miss Goodyear's Big Tire Sale and 25% savings on four of our most popular radials for passenger cars and light trucks. But you gotta hurry. The Big Tire Sale ends November 5th at participating Goodyear retailers. They're women prisoners without rights, used by men who make the rules. Someone must stop them. We're bringing out the truth. Judith Light and Against Their Will, Women in Prison, Sunday. My sister will be 14 soon. Do you know what that is a dog is? <laughs> when mommy takes my temperature, she tells me to put the thermometer under my tongue. But I don't. Do you know what it says? <laughs> Do you know where to find it? 96.5, the peak, Denver's rock alternative. Rock alternative. This is the peak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I buy my own health insurance. It's my money out of my own pocket. I don't want to spend more than I have to. Call 1-800-362-BLUE. I don't get sick. I hardly ever go to the doctor. Yeah. Why should I spend a lot of money on health insurance? If you're in good health, we can save you money on health insurance. 
Call Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Colorado. 1-800-362-BLUE. Y'all ready for this? Shaquille. Barkley. Kemp. Matumbo. The Nuggets 14-game fan plan. Your only chance to see the big-time stars of the NBA. Free plans to choose from starting at just $175. Get in the game now with a 14-game fan plan. Call 893-6700. All the scores from Tom Green tonight on 9 News. Cool, breezy day in Lincoln, Nebraska for today's game between number three Buffaloes and the number two Cornhuskers. Lynn Swan is with us reporting from the field. Bob Greasy here with me at the booth. Bob, even though the running backs, Rashan Salam and Lawrence Phillips, are headliners, it's the quarterbacks that seem to hold center stage for this one. Well, both defenses will be aimed and trying to stop those running backs, and it's the quarterbacks that need to perform for Nebraska. Brooke Beringer, making only his fourth career start, is healthy. They're going to be running 100% of their offense, options, rollouts, whatever. The concern for Osborne is if anything happens to him, there are two walk-on quarterbacks behind. But Osborne says we can win with Brooke Beringer. For Colorado, Cardell Stewart, 29th start of his career, leads the uh, team uh, in passing, the conference in passing. This team is explosive. They are number two in the, Nash, in, in the nation in uh, total offense. His problem is he has not performed well against Nebraska. The Huskers know that. They're going to try and get after him. They feel if you can control Stewart, you can control this offense. And, of course, uh, Stewart needs to play well for Colorado to win. Bill McCartney of Colorado says this is a tough place to play. It's homecoming. The Sea of Red is at flood tide. And it should be a great college football game. That's an old country. That's really old. Man, is that old. Only a country this young could create a car this cool. The Chevy Camaro. Two airbags, fuel injection, and a double wishbone suspension. Hey, you're only young once. The new Camaro. It's genuine Chevrolet. What makes the Sharp View Camp so unique? It's the stuff that dreams are made of. It's the, it's the camcorder that's always moving. It's the, it's the view screen that lets you enjoy it all. It's a shot you can't get with just any camcorder. It's the way to play the moment back instantly with all the color and sound. The Sharp View Camp. Now, get up to a $200 rebate on Sharp View Camp. The only camcorders with a choice of big three and four inch view screens. Kellogg's Raisin Bran tastes so good, people forget it's nutritious. Why do you eat it? Nutrition. Good. I'm a health nut. Wheat bran. I love it. Wait a minute. Is this true? 10% more raisins? <laughs> free. Wow, more raisins? Yeah, we're free. talking about nutrition. Free raisins? Ooh, Ooh la la. Yeah, that's not important. It's, yes, it's... it is. Now Kellogg's Raisin Bran has 10% more raisins. Absolutely free. Forget what it says behind my hand. 10% more raisins. Free! <laughs> It still bugs me that I waited to try Old Spice High Endurance just because I thought all deodorants worked the same. Dumb. This proves it's the best. Try it. If you don't think it's the best, call 1-800-PROVE-IT and they'll buy you a stick of yours. Take the High Endurance Challenge from Old Spice. I did. He committed the ultimate sin against mankind. You can't achieve death. He gave his creation to life. November 4th, Robert De Niro, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Rated R, starts Friday at a theater near you. Colorado, 7-0 on the season, will kick off. Neil Voskarichian. Receiving will be Nebraska, 8-0 on the season. Number 21 is Damon Benning. Back from a sore ankle, Clinton Childs. Number 26, both tailbacks. The game is on. From the seven-yard line, it is Damon Benning, the sophomore from Omaha. And he runs it across the 20 to about the 23. Brooke Beringer, 1994, those are his numbers. He is the number two quarterback as of the start of the season. He became number one when Tommy Frazier went down with blood clots. Then he suffered the collapsed lung and became a core celeb throughout this area. 
But he's back, he's healthy, and today Tom Osborne says they'll run the full book of their offense with Barringer. The opening carry of the ball game goes to guess who? Lawrence Phillips, a penalty flag from the umpire as Phillips is grabbed by the face mask. And so you can add some yardage there for Nebraska. Colorado actually won the toss, elected to take the ball in the second half. This is from the opposite side of the field. Johnson, number 46, the inside linebacker. I believe is going to be uh, right there. Grabs the face mask. He was the linebacker filling the hole. First play of the game. Moves the ball to the 35-yard line where it is first down for the Cornhuskers. Same formation, and the man in motion is Cluster Johnson. The ball goes to Phillips. And Phillips will have three yards on the carry as the inside linebacker, Matt Russell, makes the tackle. The inside five for Colorado, very good. Lawrence Phillips has become the bell cow of the offense for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's not unusual that the IVAC will lead the Nebraska offense, and it is necessitated by the fact that Tommy Frazier left and Brooke Barringer had to be phased in. There's Tommy Frazier on the sidelines, one of the best option quarterbacks of his generation. Phillips, a 200-pound sophomore from West Covina, California, is the single back and has the ball again. He bounces around the line, works his way to the 45-yard line. It depends on the mark. He's very close to a first down before Greg Jones brings him down. Now, Nebraska comes out and attacks Colorado, Bob, right in their toughest spot, right up the middle. And the Colorado defensive people are very quick, but it's the offensive front for the Nebraska Cornhuskers that really makes this train go. Well, we'll that's where to you in a moment. Yeah, that's where their strength is, Keith, and that's what they're doing here to start the ball game. First down at the 45-yard line. This time, the ball is handed to Corey Schlesinger, the up man or the fullback, out of the option, and he pops in there for a couple of yards. And here are your big people up front. And on the right side of the offensive line are Brendan Stye and Zach Wiegert. They're about as good as anybody I've seen in the last decade. They're both 300-pounders. Uh, Aaron Graham is the center. Zadiska and Wilkes on the other side. They're all good, but Stye and Wiegert are exceptional. It is second down and eight. Barringer rolls it out, stops, looks and throws to the sidelines and throws it out of bounds. And it was a good decision to throw it out of bounds because Dalton Simmons was all over Reggie Ball. The defensive front for Colorado, Clavel, Hicks and Holland, and Hicks in particular is a force in the middle. He never stops. He's coming all the time. You've got to put him on his back to keep him out of a play. Linebackers are quite good. The secondary is led by Chris Hudson, an All-American nominee at cornerback. He also returns kicks and should be a very prominent personality in the field position battle of this day. It is third down and eight now for Nebraska. Barringer straight back and has some time. Goes underneath with it. The ball is caught for the tight end. It's a big play for Eric Alford. A big play for the Cornhuskers. A first down at the Colorado 32-yard line. The tight end. It was a two-tight end situation. Two wide receivers. The tight end on the right side is going to slow block and then release. Barringer is waiting for him the entire time. Obviously something that the Nebraska coaches picked up in film study because he was wide open and a first down. So the Cornhuskers manifesting something of a threat here in their first possession. It's a mix up here. Now they get Phillips in the right place. Barron ball is snapped over Barringer's head. Has to come back and cover it all the way back at the 47 yard line. That play was out of sync from the very beginning, and Aaron Graham, the center, snapped it over the quarterback's head. And that's a high snap because Beringer is 6'4". The problem was Graham, the center, snapping the short shotgun, pulled and was running to the left. It was a running play. Beringer was going to hand off to the back. Both linemen, the right guard and the center, were pulling, so he snapped it too quickly and was trying to pull all at the same time. So there is a big loss. It is second down and 25. 
as the ball comes back to the 46-yard line of Colorado. And it to the up man, Boris Schlesinger. He pops that past the initial line of scrimmage, but the linebackers get him. It's number 46, Ted Johnson. Nebraska had a nice drive going, Keith. Uh, Osborne was mixing up his formations. He even had three wide receivers at one point. Then he went two tight ends on third down and picked up the first down. Then on first down, after the, the big first down, he went shotgun. A uh, little bit of fancy. He's got some tricks. Uh, Tom knows what they're doing for different formations. He wants to know how you're covering it. But the, the, the shotgun kind of fooled him and threw him for a loss. Third down and 19 now. Third and very long. And uh, it's bearing a throw the ball, throws it into the ground. Bad pass. He felt the heat coming. He got rid of the ball. He had plenty of time uh, to find his man. Once he found his man, he felt the pressure and then hurried to throw, and it didn't work. And so the Cornhuskers now will have to punt it away. So they make a mistake when they had something going, hurt themselves. The one bad snap really stopped the drive, forced him into third and long situation. That is Chris Hudson waiting for the kick return. Darren Erstad is in the punt. He is a sophomore, comes out of Jamestown, North Dakota. He gets the ball way up in the air. Hudson drifts under it, lets it go. The ball is bouncing around, and Nebraska kills it inside the five. It'll be Colorado's ball. First down at their own three-yard line. I was shocked to learn that most ordinary credit cards charge interest from the moment you buy something if you carry a balance as little as a dollar. Thankfully, American Express has introduced a new credit card called the Optima True Grace Card. You get an interest-free grace period on each new purchase, even when you carry a balance. It's a good thing. But don't just throw away your old credit cards. Recycle them. I'm retiling my pool. Apply today and cut your interest charges. At Chevrolet, we feel everyone, regardless of income, deserves a safe car. That's why we equip the all-new Lumina LS with dual airbags, anti-lock brakes, side guard door beams, child security rear door locks. Sure, anyone can build a car like this. That's easy. We build it so most people can afford it. That's genuine Chevrolet. Undefeated Penn State host Big Ten rival Ohio State or other regional action. It's game two of an ABC college football doubleheader next. Bill McCartney, 13th season Colorado, winning his coach in Buffalo football history. We're going to watch his team start with their initial possession from their own three-yard line. Stewart gives to Salam, going to the outside, and he's out of bounds at the four, run out by Tyrone Williams. Cordell Stewart, fifth-year senior, 6'3", 210, Marrero, Louisiana. His numbers are strong for 1994, even stronger through his career. But he is the wheel horse. He's the guy that makes this whole thing hum for Colorado. Game by Salam, who is one of the leading running backs in the country, was one yard. It is second down and nine. Don't be surprised if Stewart tucks in under his own arm and takes off with it. Like that. Gain is up to about the eight-yard line. One of the problems there, Keith, at that end of the end zone, the field, the end zone, the crowd, the noise, they do a lot of check with me. That time he checked off. Salam went one way and Stewart went the other. Just couldn't hear. McCartney had said several times during the week that this is one of the toughest stadiums he's ever seen to play in because the crowd is vociferous. Especially when you get to either end of the end field. Yep. Yeah. It is third down and five for the Buffalo from their own eight-yard line. 
Cordell Stewart at the goal line gets pressure, passes away. The pass is caught, but Matt Lepsis, the tight end, is taken out of bounds short of the first down. They roll him out at the 12. He had to get past the 13, and the Buffaloes will have to kick. They should come out of this with pretty good field position. Andy Mitchell, a redshirt freshman from Littleton, comes in to do the punting. And at times, he has hit some howitzers. But his overall average is not particularly good at 35 and a half yards. He has had one block. And the Cornhuskers have 10 folks up there right now looking at him. Baron Miles, number 14, is the man you might want to put your eyes on. He's moving around right now, looking for a crack in the middle, coming back to the outside. Here he goes. He got loose, and he just missed it. Just missed it. But he put enough feet on the punter Mitchell that he sort of hooked it left and uh, rolled it out of bounds. There's a penalty flag thrown back around the 12-yard line. It's a 40-yard punt. It may be that uh, Miles got into that neutral zone. Nope, it's going to go against the Buffalo. Miles timed it pretty well. He just missed it. Yes, he did. And uh, Nebraska has blocked four kicks this year. And as you mentioned, Colorado had a punt block just last week. Miles has blocked six kicks himself in his career. Three this year and three last year. John Laurie is the referee. The penalty is declined. Take a look at the bottom of your screen to the just to the right side. Miles 14. You saw the personal protector, the up back, was moving as the ball was snapped. Miles is pretty good. They move him around wherever they feel as though they can get an advantage. That's where Miles will be. From the 49-yard line, their own 49, here come the Cornhuskers for their second possession with Phillips. And Schlesinger in the backfield with Baringer. They're going to sweep it, give it to Phillips, cuts it in the back, and picks up about four yards on the carry. And now let's hear from our colleague, Lynn Swan. Well, Keith, my key for this ball game is in the offensive line of Nebraska, and I think they've got some of the best people, led by number 72, a senior, 6'5", 300 pounds, Zach Weigert. When he gets out in front of a blocker, he is putting people on their backs. And you saw in that first drive, Nebraska is going to have to try and control the offensive line to win this ball game. They've, they've got the line to do it. The win in this ball game is very interesting. You don't feel it down low, but if it gets up high, it's going to affect the ball, blowing it from left to right, Keith. All right, second down and six for the Huskers. Barry returns, gives it to Phillips. He looks in the middle. He bounces to the right. And he's about a yard short of his first down as Ted Johnson, the senior from Carlsbad, California, was waiting for him, number 46. The three down linemen, Clavel, 92, Hicks, 94, Holland, 93, and those two inside backers of Russell and Johnson are very good for the Buffalo. This is going to be a great matchup all day, Keith. The battle of the line of scrimmage with Nebraska's offense and that offensive line going against that inside five, that front uh, five for uh, Colorado. Third down and call it two. Option down the line. Quarterback kept it. Got his first down. He almost held it too long before he he had a chance to pitch. Then he committed himself, and then he took another step before he made his cut up field and just barely got his first down. Well, let it be noted that uh, on third and three, with uh, eight minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first quarter, that Nebraska and Osborne ran their first option play with the only quarterback that he feels he can win this game with, and that's Brooke Beringer. Geringer, of course, had some problems with a collapsed lung. Uh, he is completely healed from that. But uh, you never know what the next hit may uh, produce. Put it on the 41-yard line of Colorado. Call it first down for the Cornhuskers. And time is called with 8 minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the first quarter. And no score. Some things in life you have to wait for. your dreams shouldn't be one of them. The Chevy Camaro. Two airbags. Fuel injected V6. Anti-lock brakes. It's $14,750 worth of genuine Chevrolet.
Buy three packs of Polaroid Instant Film between now and December 31st, and we guarantee you a great holiday. And on top of that, we'll give you back five bucks. See your local retailer for details. You build a razor with a precision groove to help the Norelco lift and cut system shave closer than ever before. And what do you get? The Norelco razor, our closest shave ever. CFA College Football on ABC Sports brought to you by Chevrolet, the cars and trucks 36 million people depend on every day. Genuine Chevrolet. Zima, a unique alcohol beverage. Shopvac, be as quiet as you can be with the new Shopvac QSP Quiet Super Power. And Energizer, still going. Long-lasting Energizer batteries keep going and going and going going and going <laughs> it is first down and 10 from the 41 yard line on the Colorado side of the field Nebraska owns the football give it to Phillips the big tailback or the eye back stutters and skitters through there for about seven yards and let's spend a moment for the first time today with John Saunders. John Howdy. And howdy to you, Keith. Thanks a lot. Reminding everybody, we'll be here all day long with scores and highlights. Also, game two of the doubleheader at 3.30 Eastern time. Most of you will see Ohio State against number one Penn State. And the Nittany Lions may need to win big in this one to stay number one. One of the two teams below them could leapfrog them with the victory. Right now, let's take you back to Keith Jackson. Keith. John, uh, Joe Paterno earlier in the week was asked a question about that. He got downright cranky. He even just walked off left the questioner. And you can't blame him in a way because it doesn't mean a bloody thing right now. Corey Schlesinger, the fullback, carries it for uh, Nebraska, and he's got a Husker first down. So they moved the chains again. Uh, they had this going a little while ago and made a mistake to stop it. Tonight on ABC, the Olsen twins, Cloris Leishman and Meshack Taylor in a special Halloween family movie, Double, Double, Toil and Trouble. Sounds like my morning. Then Michael <laughs> Chick, the stars, and an all-new commish all tonight here on ABC. Ball is just inside the 30. Beringer down the middle. Pass caught to the tight end, Mark Gilman. And he's close to another Husker first down, but they're going to mark him just a little bit short. So that tight end on the right side of the field from the offensive perspective is wide open for a second time. Well, they've run enough plays into the line of scrimmage. Here's the tight end over to the right side. If I can get this uh, telestrator working, and that's not going to work. Watch to the right side of your screen. Go ahead and run it. Play action. Watch the two linebackers as they're going to fake right there. 87, a little pop over the middle. That's what that running game inside has set up most of the uh, first quarter. Second down and a short one. And a whistle. Did they burn the clock? Might have. There were folks bobbing around. You might have had somebody in the neutral zone. John Dead Morey. False start offense. Five-yard yep. penalty. Colorado defensive people were moving around, and one of the Nebraska linemen moved, and it's five yards the other way. So it's the second time now they've had a, a move going downfield, and the second time they've made a mistake. You've got Eric Alford back in at a tight end position. Gilman is going to go out. Shaw comes in, too, so you, let's see, you've got a double tight end alignment now for uh, Nebraska. A single back with Phillips. This is the formation Colorado uses entirely right here. And second down and six. Option with Barringer, the quarterback around the corner, inside the 15-yard line and the first down at the Colorado 14. Barringer is 6'4", and he's absolutely convinced that he's going to convince some people today that he's also a tough guy. Well, he is no Tommy Frazier running the option, but don't make a mistake. This kid can run the option. He's got 4'6 speed, and everybody wants him to run it. They don't want him to flip it to Phillips. They want Barringer to carry it, and he just picked up a big first down. So far in this first quarter, Nebraska's had 16 plays to three for Colorado. And the Huskers are now threatened. First down at the Buffalo 14-yard line. Into the middle, Schlesinger, touchdown! Let's hear one for the big old fullbacks. <laughs> point 
try. Tap is good, hold is good, the kick is good. You know, Tom Osborne is the master of the sleight of hand. You see the tailback, but he gives it to the fullback, number 40. Good blocking up front. He's going to take it into the end zone. Osborne moves it around, but he always knows who you're thinking about least and gets him the ball. 7-0 Huskers. My mission was to clean the garage. I had to go in quietly. Not because of the enemy, but because my family just couldn't stand the noise. So I armed myself with the new quiet superpower from ShopVac. It's the quietest ShopVac yet. Nails, wood chips, glass, water. ShopVac's power wiped them out. Mission complete. I prepared for my next assignment. Diaper change. Be as quiet as you can be with ShopVac's QSP. I'm going camping this weekend. Man, I love it. And I hate camping. If I want to sleep on dirt, I wouldn't vacuum. Fresh air, birds, trees, snakes, bears, poison ivy. It's funny how two people can look at the same thing differently. You stand in the clean, clear water and catch your own dinner. Well, you stand in the freezing cold water and catch pneumonia. To some, this is a great-tasting imported beer. And to others, it's a great-tasting light beer. Either way, it's Amstel Light. It's beautiful. You're out there in the middle of nowhere. It stinks. You're out there in the middle of nowhere. Instead of making a car for the 5% of the public who can afford a $35,000 luxury sedan, we created the all-new Chevrolet Lumina for everybody. We asked thousands of people what they were looking for in a new mid-size sedan. Turns out what they wanted were the comfort and features you usually find in more expensive sedans. So we built them into the new Lumina. We just didn't charge extra for them. That's what makes the new Lumina a genuine Chevrolet. Nebraska will kick it off now. Erstead will nail it. Got a good leg. Waiting for it is James Kidd, number two, and Herschel Troutman, number 26. A wide receiver and a freshman tailback for Colorado. Nebraska to the lead at 5.47 to go in the first quarter, 7 to nothing. High kick, drifting into the wind to the 11-yard line where Kidd takes it and comes back to the 24-yard line. Tomorrow here on ABC Sports at 1 Eastern, 12 noon Central and Pacific, American Michelle Kwan and an elite field of skating stars in the Sudafed Skate America International. And then second round leader Bill Glasson and the PGA Tour's top money winners will be at work at Olympic. Final round action for the Tour Championship at 3 Eastern, 2 Central here on ABC Sports. First down for Colorado from the 25 and... The quarterback goes down hard on a driving tackle. The two linebackers on the outside for uh, Nebraska, Troy Dumas, number four, and Ed Stewart, number 32, are former defensive backs. Yep. And they are very fast. This defense, they went to this defense last year. There are only two players on this defense that weigh over 240 pounds. They are quick and they are very fast. Second down and nine. Stewart back throws to Westbrook on the sidelines. And he's taken out of bounds. At about the 30-yard line, here is Lynn Swan now with Tommy Frazier. Keith, thank you. Tommy, I know you want to be in this ball game, but first, I've got to ask you about your health. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling fine. The doctor said everything's going, going well. I saw him this morning again. They said, just told me, just be patient. Just wait for everything to heal itself. Now, tell me about Brooks' confidence in this ball game. Oh, Brooks is, Brooks is in the cloud now with his confidence. He's ready to go out and play. He showed that the first he said where he drove the ball, came down. He got one touchdown, but he's ready. And we hope you get well very quickly. Thank you very much, Tommy. All right, 20, thank you. Penalty flags and whistles have stopped the play here. It's a third and five call. And Fourier, I think, got a little bit of an early start there. And so that's an instance where the Buffaloes now have hurt themselves with a mistake. They had a third and five, and that's going to back them up into a third and ten. Again, Keith, it goes back to the fact that the noise is so loud, you cannot hear your quarterback. The quarterback should not go on any quick counts. No quick counts for uh, the Buffaloes here today. 
Stewart with a quick drop, gets it off under pressure, bounces the ball. There were three red shirts coming after him, and they just kind of ran over people to get to him. Tony Birdie was back there trying to protect him. They took him down anyway, so the Buffaloes, for the second time, will be forced into a punt, and Andy Mitchell is on the field. That sends uh, Kareem Moss back for Nebraska. Moss is a uh, defensive back. Mitchell gets it away. The ball takes a sideways hooking bounce and comes back up the field, and the Buffaloes will kill it at about the Nebraska 41-yard line. And so the Huskers come out of that after a 35-yard punt with very good field position, leading 7 to nothing. The Buffaloes have had the wind at their back the first quarter, but their field position has been from the minus 3 and minus 25. It's been Nebraska that's have excellent field position, this time starting at their 41. The time before this, when they scored, they started at the 49. Baringa sets him up, wide at the top, wide at the bottom, run an option play, turn it up field, shake off one man at the line of scrimmage, and pick up six yards on the play. And here's John Saunders. Keith, Wisconsin against Michigan. Remember last week against Illinois, a punt return for a touchdown helped Michigan get the win? This on a kickoff after a field goal, Seth Smith, 100 yards. That's a Michigan record. And they take the lead, missing the point after. Todd Collins, the quarterback for the Wolverines, out of the game with a hip pointer. 6-3. Keith, back to you. Special team saved them last week. Yep. Colorado beat both of those teams earlier in the year, too. Second down and five, they call it. And Lawrence Phillips is taken down as he tries to run up the middle. Ted Johnson in the ball game defensively for Colorado. Just made another tackle. That'll give him six in the ball game. So he's very busy. He's a leading tackler on this team. In fact, he has been the leading tackler the last two years. Clock running at 3.40 to go in the first period. It is now third down and three for the Cornhuskers. Beringer gets his pass off. It is caught. It is good for a first down by Mark Gilman, the tight end. Gilman took a step back and for a moment almost yielded the first down, but then was able to plant himself and drive ahead and get it. That's just good poise by Beringer. Third and three, you want to keep possession. Didn't rush it. He looked downfield before he came back off to his tight end. And Nebraska continues to control the football. There was no pressure from the outside again by Colorado. They have not been able to get any so far. In fact, got Phillips into the ball game now. Actually, John Newton started at the outside linebacker position, but Phillips is in now. This is this thing went wrong from the first snap as Phillips was way deep in the backfield. Had to retreat some more, and then eventually had to just tuck it away and take it at the line of scrimmage. See what he could get. Yep. At the conclusion of the game, a genuine Chevrolet most valuable player from each team, 24th year through the Chevrolet Scholarship Program, $1,000 donated to the General Scholarship Fund of each school. It is second down and 10 for Nebraska. The ball is resting at the 47-yard line on the Colorado side. Beringer still got it. Now here comes some heat. He throws a balloon into the crowd. It'll be third down and 10. Shav Shannon Clavel, number 92, popped through there and got away from the offensive lineman. And uh, Zadiska couldn't pick him off as uh, he made his run on the quarterback. Here's a look at Hicks, number 94. They're going to double team him here, and Clavel, 92, is the uh, beneficiary of that. He's going to take off, but Hicks has got his hands full at the moment. I'll guarantee he does. <laughs> but Wilkes and Graham both pop it in. Third and ten. Those offensive linemen know who the top defensive linemen are. Definitely. Oh, Kerry, he's not too used to being put on the seat of his britches either. That pass is completed, but it's only going to be good for about two or three yards to Abdul Muhammad because Chris Hudson is cooking right down, and now the Cornhuskers will have to punt. 
So the Buffaloes have a pretty good defense, but the key to that whole drive there was the first down play when it was minus yardage, and they got uh, Nebraska into a passing situation. Erstad is in the punt for the Huskers, and Hudson is back. First kick by Erstad today was 38 yards. Hudson is back at the 10, and the punt going into the wind is a mile high and straight up into the air, coming down to that bright morning sun, and he makes the catch at about the 10-yard line, and now there's a penalty flag, and it might be that they didn't give him the two yards. Let's see if That's what it is. All right, we've told you about the quarterback already, so and, and the running backs and wide receivers. Christian Fourier is one of the better pass-catching tight ends of the country, despite the fact he's also one of the better blocking tight ends. He's outstanding, a good player. Outstanding, outstanding Yeah, blocking. he's really a good player. The offensive front for the uh, Buffaloes, Naoli has, uh, has matured into quite a good football player. The basic strength of it is right there in the middle of the line. Stoltenberg, the center. It is now a first down and 17-yard line for Colorado as they go to Salam. And Rasham Salam runs it to the 20, where Troy Dumas leads the Packers for the Cornhuskers. Nebraska's defense, Bill Ellis is the new member of the linebacking core, and he's just been playing very well of late, earned himself a start. He's a 225-pound junior out of Grand Island. Doug Coleman had been the starter, but Ellis who gets pretty jacked up and plays uh, awfully hard sometimes. Tony Veland is a former quarterback in there at the free safety position, and Baron Miles, we showed you a while ago, he is one of the specialists on the team. Very quick, very good player. Here comes Stewart on the option. And Cordell Stewart will have a first down as he is run out of bounds near the 32-yard line. We have 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter. So the Buffaloes move the football a little bit for the first time in the ball game. Yeah, this, this is their third possession of the ball game, and that's their first first down. The Colorado in the Big Eight is uh, outstanding. Nebraska's offense uh, is number one in the other categories. Now they're going up against a Nebraska defense that's pretty good also. That Nebraska leads the uh, Big Eight in almost every defensive category. On first down, Stewart. Goes underneath, tried to just softly drop it into Matt Lepsis, the tight end, the big sophomore who seldom catches the pass, and it simply didn't work. As we mentioned, uh, Nebraska, first in uh, rushing defense, scoring defense, total and second in passing. They also lead the conference in total number of sacks. They are outstanding. Westbrook and Kidd are the wide people. Salam, the single back. Give it a Salam. Looks for daylight. And he is wrapped up at the 35-yard line. Kareem Moss, a strong safety. There have been a couple of times today when Salam has been given the ball that it, it, it looks like Kareem Moss may be the spy because he's right there when well, Salam gets the ball. They're, they're using an eight-man front. Salam leads the country in three different areas. Rushing yards, points scored, and all-purpose yards. And, uh, of course, Nebraska knows that. They're up in his face. They said, we're going to take away the run. You've got to throw to beat us. Could be the last play of the first quarter here. You get single coverage on the outside. Hits up the middle. Hook off. It ball hit the ground. Ball hit the ground. It's an incomplete oh, ball pass. That was a shuttle pass. Bill Ellis was right in his face, and he was trying to shovel the ball to Salam, and he almost came out of there with six points. This, this Nebraska defense is aggressive. They are attacking, and they are across the line of scrimmage. Upfield, that ball was almost intercepted for a touchdown. Nebraska has had 23 plays, 11 minutes and 36 minutes or a seconds of possession in the first quarter. Now you have three seconds remaining, so they have control this first period. Not a very good kick. It sank. It's out of bounds. See where he finally stopped walking. It'll be Nebraska's ball first down at their own 40-yard line, a 25-yard punt. The Huskers lead 7-0 after the first quarter. 
Here you go. Come on, get it. I got it. Again, again, I really want to do it. I'm going to take the check and let's leave it. Hey, no, 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 no. I have not a big deal. It's a big deal. Since the introduction of Visa Rewards, everyone wants to use their Visa card. Because now 10% of all your purchases automatically goes towards savings on American Airlines flyaway vacations, Carnival and Holland America cruise lines, and Marriott Hotels, Resorts, and Suites. Look at yourselves! You're acting like a bunch of kids. Besides, I saw it first. Visa Rewards. Now your Visa card's even more rewarding. Do you have any idea how fast you were going? The passive type probably plays Nintendo. Do you have any idea how fast you were going? You tell me. You're the guy with the radar. The aggressive type probably plays Sega. Do you have any idea how fast you were going? I don't know. The little needle stopped moving at 100. And the other type definitely plays 3DO, the most advanced home gaming system in the universe. 3DO from Panasonic Gold Star and Creative Labs. Now $3.99 plus free games. Today's engines need Castrol GVX, the motor oil that provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. Because if your oil breaks down, what's next? Castrol GTX, engineered for greater protection against breakdown. The classic Airstream, around $5,000. The classic BIC, around 19 cents. What do they have in common? They're both worth every penny. You know, I was expecting big savings when I switched from AT&T. Not to worry. Today, I've got an even better plan for your business with even bigger savings. Maybe this time I should check that out by calling this number here. <laughs> Not sure about those big savings? For the facts, call 1-800-COMPARE, and AT&T will guarantee you competitive long-distance prices. Let me get you another coffee. Right after I call 1-800-COMPARE. 1-800-COMPARE. The number other long-distance companies don't want you to call. Phone's dead. Oh, how strange. AT&T, for the life of your business. Craig T. Nelson of Coach and All-America Trev Alberts discuss athletics and academics. Trev, you were an All-American academically and athletically. How'd you handle both? You'd be surprised how much I learned from playing college football about managing time and fighting adversity that helped my game and my studies. A group of diverse individuals who learn how to win, solve problems, and communicate. College football teaches lessons we can all use. Saluting an American tradition, 125 years of college football. for 22nd season here at Nebraska as the head coach. He just walked off the campus at Hastings College, it seems, as the quarterback came over here and Bob and Bob Devaney's staff. He's been here the whole time. He's watched his team dominate the first quarter. They lead 7-0. They start the second quarter of play. First down at their own 40-yard line. It is Schlesinger, the fullback. And it's first down at the Colorado 30-yard line. Steve Roska and Chris Hudson finally brought him down, and Roska is shaken up on the play. From behind the defense, that's Wilk, 76, going to come down, and the fullback, the guy you, you least think about, Roska's 15, is going to get injured making this tackle, but... I think, Keith, when you talked about Osborne coming out of the break and you mentioned that he was a quarterback, the thing that impresses me is his play calling, the different number of formations. He goes from one series to the next, one play to the next, shifting a lot of players in and out for a guy that is last in the conference and 101 in the nation in passing the ball. He uses a lot of formations, and he knows when to use the pass and obviously knows when to use that fullback up the middle. It's kind of interesting, too, that one of the reasons he insists on keeping the option as part of the offensive book, the option is hard to prepare for. Hard to it defend. makes the other team spend a lot of time working on their defense. Right. He knows how difficult it is for his defense to prepare for an <laughs> option team. There's um, Mike Hankwitz, the defensive coordinator for the Buffaloes. Put the ball at the 31 now, first down, and Lawrence Phillips is a single back with T.J. Cunningham replacing Rosga at the free safety spot. First down for the Huskers, and Phillips has the ball, and Phillips is in the arms of Shannon Clavel, and will go down after a one-yard pickup. The first quarter number. Well, big-time numbers on the right side for Nebraska. 
eight first downs to only one. The plays 23 to 11, almost more than two to one. Time of possession, of course, eight minutes. Colorado, uh, Nebraska had the ball more than eight minutes in Colorado the first quarter. Just inside the 30, second down and nine for the Cornhuskers. Buffalo show a four-man front right now. And Berenger going down the line to lose it outside. That Phillip Keith comes around the corner, and they've got him a yard short of the first down. He picked up eight. He needed nine. Ball will be around the 22. The thing that made that play was the quarterback holding on to the ball, forcing the outside defender to defend him, and then finally pitching the ball to Phillips. Nice job. Barringer, in high school, he had he was from a wishbone team, but he could throw so well that the wishbone uh, system was kind of changed over to a passing, but he can run the wishbone, he can run the option, and he's a good thrower. Third down and one from the 22. Phillips. Pretty good lick there from Mike Phillips, a redshirt freshman out of Louisiana, but I think Lawrence Phillips won the skirmish and makes it a first down at the 20 of Colorado. I mean, that was a pretty good thump when those two big fellas went in together. Phillips and Phillips. Ball is right off the 20. Nebraska leading 7-0, threatening again as we start the second quarter of play. This possession started on their own 40. Lessinger. And this time they wrap him up. Darius Holland out of Las Cruces, New Mexico, was the first big man on the down three to get a piece of him. The Colorado defense, Keith, is creeping up. The safeties and the corners are creeping up to stop that uh, Nebraska run. Said eight guys, maybe nine guys that time. The Omidi is one of them. He had 11 tackles earlier in the year against Michigan by sneaking up there. You see now, only two guys deep, nine guys up to stop the run. Gilbert, number 87, pretty good receiver at the tight end. Give it a foot Little juke, gets away, first down, inside the five. Matt Russell finally brought him down. You want to run the football? Be the eye back at Nebraska. From behind the defense, Lavelle is 92. Russell, 16, is being blocked by Weigert. Look at Slesson. He took Johnson, I turned him upside down. Well, the thing is, Russell, 16, who finally made the tackle, made it about 16 yards downfield after he finally got rid of Wiegert, Zach Wiegert, the offensive tackle. That's like a, a massive size coming around uh, the corner when those people get in front. Penalty flag as Schlesinger, the fullback, carries it. Let's see about it. Burned the clock. So the play was late getting there, perhaps. Phillips now has 12 carries and 58 yards. Schlesinger has six carries for 59 yards. One of them, that big break over the middle, that almost got him loose for a TD. The Nebraska fullbacks, however, pay their dues. Once in a while, it's their turn to get a little glory. <laughs> That's right. You don't see many All-American fullbacks coming out of here. It's always the tailback. All right, here we go. Ball comes back to the 10, where it is first and goal. Barringer gives to Phillips, and he turns that thing into the middle, keeps battling at it, gets down to the 6. Mark might take him closer to the 5. The inside linebackers for Colorado, Johnson and Russell, so far in the ball game, with 11 minutes to play in the first half, have combined for 14 tackles. That tells you two things. That Nebraska, one, is going right at them. And secondly, Johnson and Russell are holding up pretty well. It's also they're making tackles beyond the line beyond of scrimmage. Beyond the line of scrimmage. Down and goal. The 
Erringer going to throw. Does. Got a man at the goal line. Short, however, of the goal line. That will not be a touchdown. The ball was caught by Eric Alford. The ball was underthrown to Alford. Otherwise, he would have stepped in. So the ball is inches away from the goal line with third down coming up. You got inside when you get inside the 10 with Osborne, you got to watch the tight ends. This one's going to cross and the other one's going to cross uh, to the from right to left side. He's going to roll this way hoping to pull the defense with him. And throw would have been a little bit more upfield. It could have been a touchdown. Third and goal. And the Buffaloes eat him up. Donnell Liam Mitty, the strong safety playing in almost a linebacker position, came firing in and got him. Just good defense, Keith. Watch the corner to the right side. That's the defensive back. That's uh, probably Simmons. No, no it's uh, Hudson's 47. He comes across the line of scrimmage and takes away the choice, takes away the pitch. Nice defense by the Bucks. And Sealer now trots on. He will try the field goal. It'll be relatively short. The ball will be put down at about the 14, so make it a 24-yard try. And it's good. So the Cornhuskers get it inches away from the goal line, but good defense for the Buffalo. Turns them back. They settle for three, and they lead 10 to nothing. has an Edwina, the planner, the organizer, the one who tracks your packages. Only today, she's out sick, and you have to track them yourself. Luckily, she uses UPS. Just pop in our tracking software, and you'll know when your package was delivered and who signed for it in seconds. Now, if only you could use it to find the bathroom key. American Michelle Kwan and a stellar field of skating's brightest young stars take the ice. It's Sudafed Skate America International Sunday here on ABC. Time of possession very revealing. And remember that Nebraska lost a scoring opportunity in its first possession because uh, the ball was snapped over the quarterback's head in the shotgun. The Buffaloes have had possession three times but not done a lot with it. First dad with the wind at his back gives it a ride. No return by James Kidd. So they'll come out to the 20 for a first down right after our game. Unbeaten Penn State will host Big Ten rival Ohio State here on ABC Sports. Virginia Tech is playing Miami. Big battle in Carolina with UNC and NC State. Out west, Arizona and Oregon. Oregon's become quite a story in that Pac-10. So check your local listings or call your cable operator or the pay-per-view choices that might be available in your area. Michael Westbrook has not seen much of the ball today. He's thrown it to him one time. He is flanked way wide to the bottom of the picture. It's tough to check off. Crowd gets into it. Cordell Stewart for the option play. And they throw him out near the 28-yard line. So that's a pretty good gain. And here's John. Keith, the Auburn Tigers, number four and unbeaten, facing Arkansas. Patrick Nix, 
goes one way, looks the other, almost sacked, goes to the pass, bad idea. The nose guard, Junior Sorley, picks it up on the interception and goes 51 yards for the touchdown. Arkansas, the Hogs are up 7-0. Keith and Bob. Hogs making a little news there. Yes, he's given off to Rashawn Salam. He will have a first down as he reaches the 32-yard line. Colorado's had the ball three times. Their starting has not been good. Their own three, their own 25 and 16. They started this drive from the 20. Haven't had it many plays. They've punted all three. Now the pressure is starting to, uh, to come. There's Charlie McBride, the defensive coordinator for the Huskers. But Colorado's not used to this. They're averaging 40 points a game and over 500 yards per game. They say, we, what's wrong? We need to get something going here. Stewart wanted to wind up and let it rip. Everything is covered downfield. Troy Dumas then, as he pulls it down and takes off, steps into the hole and stops him after Cordell picked up about five or six yards. So they put it down, and we go to Lynn Swan. Well, Keith, the injury report on Steve Rosca is a strained tendon in the left knee. They put ice on it. They're trying to say they're not sure whether or not he will come back into the ball game, but it is a strained tendon in the left knee. Keith? They hurt. Oh, they hurt. Yeah. Second down and four after Cordell Stewart's run. That's some very good work in that Nebraska secondary. This is Salam trying for the first down, and he's got it. Very, very strong. That initial contact very hard to bend him back he will twist and turn and drive that defender talking with uh, charlie mcbride yesterday uh, keith he was talking about salam and the thing that he was impressed with was the balance said he gets hit and it's like nothing happens uh, they, you can't knock him off his feet with just a defensive back trying to throw a block at him or something very rarely does he go down in the first hit five carries and 17 yards so far First down for the Cornhuskers, uh, for the Colorado at their own 43. As the Cornhuskers step into the middle this time, changing the defensive look a little bit, Salam carries the ball and picks up close to four yards. There have been times, and I think we saw it in the Texas game more than any other time that I can recall for Colorado, where once they get a rhythm going, once they get a, a sense of balance going with Salam carrying the ball, they really knock you off the well, ball. You're right. Normally, they're ahead, and they, they get a little complacent, but, but they need to get fired up. This is Stewart on the option, and he's got a first down at the Nebraska 40-yard line. Now, Stewart, as I mentioned, he needs to get this team fired up. His, his versatility is his strength. He's got the strong arm. He can run. He's got the option. He can escape if he's back there trying to throw, and nothing, nothing uh, is open. It breaks down. He just takes off. Rick Neuheisel is the guru for uh, Cordell Stewart this year. Rick came over from UCLA to coach the quarterbacks for Bill McCartney, and he spent a lot of time with Cordell Stewart, and he's, he's improved him a lot. He's helped him a lot. That's right. This is Salam breaking to the sidelines. Looking for the marker, and he's close to it before Kareem Moss can get him out. So this is far and away the best offensive move that Colorado has made so far in the bowl game. Monday night on ABC Sports, Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. It'll be in Chicago. It's at 9 Eastern and 6 Pacific on ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. I guess five is going to be back, huh? Yeah, and uh, I wonder what the guys are going to be wearing. It's Halloween, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. The guy's got to come on camera wearing something, don't they? I don't know. <laughs> I know. I know if, he, if Dan would come on, he'd look a lot better. Doing something. <laughs> there have been eight plays in this possession by Colorado. There have been all running plays. And the chains are being moved again for another first down. And it's a, it's a critical drive for McCartney's uh, offense because it... Number one, it establishes some confidence in the offense and the rest of the team, but it keeps their defense and the Cornhuskers offense off the field. It gets them back in the ball game as far as the, uh, the momentum is concerned. You need to put some points on the board. First down from the 28-yard line. Stewart back to throw. 
goes to the sideline and the pass is incomplete. The pass was intended for Matt Lepsis. Kareem Moss was covering. Lepsis is a blocking tight end, a big sophomore from Frisco, Texas, and he only occasionally gets to see the football. Yeah, well, he was a offensive lineman, and they just recently, well, in the last couple of years, switched to tight end, but he's only caught five passes coming in to the uh, to the ball game today, but that, that was good coverage downfield. He was just throwing that ball away. 5.59 to play in the first half with Nebraska leading 10 to nothing. Second down and 10 for the Buffaloes. This is Salam into the middle. A little skating move, and he picks up three yards on the carry to the 25. It's pretty clear, I think, to you that in the Big 8 Conference, these two teams would be at the top. Oklahoma has only one conference loss. They finished the season with Nebraska down at Norman. Kansas State, pretty good one and two in this conference. They lost two tough ball games to the CD. The team that has won this game the last six years has gone on to the Orange Bowl. Third down and seven. Now Stewart's trying to change his play, and the crowd is trying to defeat him. Option. Nothing doing this time. Number 86, Dwayne Harris, a big senior out of Bessemer, Alabama, was waiting, stayed at home, made the play. And, and the way they're trying to stop it, Charlie McBride's defense, look at here. They've got eight guys right up here on the line of scrimmage. They're giving the outside receivers one-on-one, -on -one, but eight guys are up there to stop the option. you got a man right there. You've got linebackers and defensive linemen coming. That's a great play. Right there. 43-yard field goal try from Neil Vascariccia. Blake Anderson gets it down. The kick is up. It's into the wind. It is short. No good. Well, Nebraska wins another skirmish as Colorado is turned away. And the score remains 10-0 Huskers with 4.34 to play in the first half. There's a brand new motor oil made to handle the stresses on your hard-working engine. 4x4 from Quaker State. Off-road driving, extreme temperatures, especially towing and hauling. They all make your light truck or 4x4 work extra hard and could shorten its life. Why settle for a conventional car oil? Get a synthetic blend that can take the punishment. 4x4. It's new from Quaker State. The intelligent oil for hard-working engines. Here's a look at the field goal. Bostericchian just, just misses. A little bit of a breeze in there. He, he kept it relatively low, but even so, I think the breeze got enough of it to knock it down. Ain't playing horseshoes. Ten to nothing. As the Huskers come back to the attack from their own 25-yard line, Barriker going down the line, hands it off to Muhammad, the wingback coming back on the inside. He wanted to go counter on it, but they sealed him off and turned him back in, and let's check in with John. Keith, Michigan trailing Wisconsin, but the ball at the 24, first down, give it to Tyrone Wheatley. He takes it the rest of the way. Michigan takes the lead. 13 to 10. Also, you mentioned Rick Neuheisel. At halftime, we'll have a feature on the Colorado offense from Julie Moran. He. From the 28. Mega the 27. Second down and eight. Phillips. 
Finally, Russell and Johnson take him down. Clock running at 3.40 to play in the first half. Crowd right now relatively quiet. Each time uh, the Buffaloes have been near one of the end zones, the crowd has given Cordell Stewart a tough time in calling his play at the line of scrimmage. The crowd is 76,131, the 200th consecutive home sellout. They had a big party with 480-odd people who said and had some kind of proof that they had attended each one of those 200 home games. One fellow said he hadn't missed a home game at Nebraska since 1940. So the clock is stopped on the timeout at 3.22 to play in the first half. And Nebraska 10, Colorado nothing. My dandruff's really bad. The itch drives me crazy. I'll try anything. The Denerex side feels different. It tingles. Head and shoulders doesn't. Both have effective dandruff medicine, but Denerex has something extra that tingles. It feels fresh and invigorating. That tingle made me start using Denerex. No flakes, no itch. Denerex, the serious dandruff shampoo. Or try new Denerex dandruff shampoo for dry scalp. Its special pro-vitamin formula relieves dry, itchy scalp while moisturizing your hair. New Denerex for dry scalp. Richard Belial used to cut study hall every day to go back to Mr. Garber's math class. Last year, Matthew Garber became a teacher with the help of a scholarship from Hitachi in the College Football Association. And already, he's got quite a following. Pushing on to the next frontier, just a part of the landscape out west. When people came to the west, it was a new frontier. The teachers here, they'll take you to that frontier and say, yes, it's yours. The University of Colorado has made a difference for me. They've given me a great opportunity. Out west on the new frontier, where the buffalo roam, the University of Colorado. Memorial Stadium is the third largest population center in the whole state of Nebraska every time there's a home football game in Lincoln. It is a sea of red, and it is a sea that is hard to park. One of the reasons that uh, you see the numbers that you do there, Nebraska has won the last 21 games they have played on this field. Third down and three. And it's kind of a long three. Erringer back, pass over the middle, pass is caught by Alford, the tight end. And a big play all the way out to the 47-yard line. Eric Alford, 6'2", 225, out of High Point, North Carolina, caught that ball in fifth gear. He was on the move. Well, they're going to have a blitz. The two inside linebackers are going to come. The tight end is here. He's going to go across, and Behringer sees the blitz. Picked up nicely, gets the ball across. There's good coverage, but he throws it out in front of him. And this kid can run, this Alfred. Yep. Is he the hot man on the blitz? Yes, he is. The tight end. Yep. That's why he goes across the center of the field. First down, 47. Beringer again over the middle. This goes to Gilman, the other tight end. And he's down to the 36-yard line of Colorado. First down. We're working on the inside linebackers. Little play action fake to the inside. Here are the two inside linebackers. Watch as they'll step up when the action starts, and he's going to hit the tight end right behind where they are. Little play action fake. First down, you got to step up. Nice job of uh, calling the plays and nice execution. Sutton Childs is now your eye back, and Makovica is the fullback. And it's Makovica, the fullback, getting the ball. He's in there for about uh, three, four yards. Beringer in the in the passing game today, seven out of ten for 73. One of the reasons, number 72, Zach Wieger. He's going to be going against Shannon Clavel most of the day. That'll be a nice struggle. Well, Shannon held his own. And he made held his own and got the yeah. tackle. That's right. So that'll be a that'll be a battle all day. Yeah, he said last year that he was so tired the thing was over. All he could do just kind of wave and go on to the club. Yeah. <laughs> 
Second down and six. This is Childs. And Childs will get three. And that'll leave him a third down call coming up as Chris Hudson, number 47, made the play. Coming up on the Prudential Halftime Report, John Saunders scores on highlights, and we'll have a feature of Julia Moran talking with Colorado quarterback Cordell Stewart and Coach Rick Neuheisel as they will define the Buffalo offense and how they run it. And they run it pretty well. Yes, they do. Third down and three. Watch the tight end. Six of seven completions by Beringer to the tight end. Got Gilman again. It's another first down. Inside the 15-yard line, first down at the 14, caught the ball in front of T.J. Cunningham. They get seven of eight completions have gone to tight ends for Beringer. And these tight ends that he's throwing to, Keith, are not the starting tight end. Matt Shaw is the starter, but with, with uh, Osborne getting it, he's very organized on the sideline, gets in the backup two tight ends, Alfred and Gilman. They're better receivers. Kyle stays in at the eye back. You got Muhammad uh, over here to the left and Reggie Ball to the right and Barringer on a broken play. Shovels it back to the wingback Muhammad. And the, the Nebraska wingback has always been one of those surprise factors in Tom Osborne's offense. So that'll go as a completed pass. And 42 of his completed passes in 53 catches has been for first down. Watch as Mohammed lined up as a flanker. He is a flanker on the outside. Little play action fake. He waits for the back to clear. Holland, 93, said he hadn't got the ball yet. He could have grabbed him and tackled him, but he didn't have the ball. And then that's a tough play to time up. Osborne's been saving some plays for Colorado. There is no question. First and goal, the ball from just inside the three-yard line. It goes to Childs. He turns it into the end zone. Touchdown. Watch the blocking of the Offensive line and the tight end, that's Shaw, 85. Makovica is 22. He's going to get a block. That's too easy. Sealer for the extra point. Got it. John Bedrill, the holder. And at 36 seconds to go in the half, it is 17 to nothing, Nebraska. Saturday on the Kamish, a young boy is kidnapped. We're going to do everything we can to get Julian back. But will Polly's personal feelings for the boy's mother get in the way of the rescue? So what do you want to do, Polly? Huh? Stick the kid's face on a milk carton and wait? An all new Kamish, Saturday here on ABC. Sunday. Fire! Radical terrorists infiltrate the military and steal a killer satellite. But when Lois and Clark zero in on the plot, they become the targets. <laughs> An all-new Lois and Clark, Sunday on ABC. A dominating performance here in the first half by the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Never, never, never. Quit thinking about Colorado's big play ability. Oh, yeah. But I think I think at this point you have to look back at a little bit of history also. Colorado has only won two of the last seven games against Nebraska. And uh, Nebraska's won the last two. Two years ago here in Lincoln, Nebraska beat Colorado 52 to 7. Here's the kickoff by Erstad. Kid way back there, seven, eight yards in the end zone, will not bring it out. And the Buffaloes will snap it from the 20. One of the things that Colorado does so well is their two-minute offense. It has been outstanding. And Cordell Stewart is the man. But I don't know if 36 seconds is enough time. I, I say that remembering what he did up in Michigan earlier in the season. 
Both being the Colorado has two times out to work with. They run it with Salam. So apparently uh, they're going to take it to the clubhouse as it is. They'll have one more snap if they want it. There's a look at the comparison of the quarterbacks. Well, as we mentioned at the opening, the quarterbacks would, would play a major role in this, and Osborne saying that we can win with Beringer. He certainly is uh, five holding up. A very deliberate pace here by the Buffaloes. Time is gone. Again, the first half over. And so at halftime, it is Nebraska 17, Colorado nothing. The Buffaloes will have the ball to start the second half. Now here's John. All right, Keith, thanks a lot, and the second half is still to come. At halftime, we'll take a look at scores and highlights, including unbeaten Auburn in action. Still to come on the Prudential Halftime Report. CFA College Football on ABC Sports, brought to you by the makers of Denerex Shampoo and Conditioner and Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Life. Stay tuned for the Prudential Halftime Report after this message and a word from our ABC stations. When this country started expanding, American Express introduced what was right for the times. When Americans started traveling abroad, we introduced what was right for the times. When people wanted to carry less cash, we introduced what was right for the times. And today, when the world revolves too fast, American Express has a new credit card that doesn't. Introducing the Optima True Grace card. The only major credit card with an interest-free grace period on new purchases, even when you carry a balance. A low interest rate if you choose to extend payment. And no annual fee. Just use it three times a year. Look for a senior mail or call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. The Optima True Grace card. The right card for the times. Don't miss Goodyear's Big Tire Sale and 25% savings on four of our most popular radials for passenger cars and light trucks. But you gotta hurry. The Big Tire Sale ends November 5th at participating Goodyear retailers. Do you know what Hitachi makes? Ready? Go. Does Hitachi make camcorders, yes. barcode readers, yes. hydroelectric power equipment, yes. clown noses, no. power tools, yes. TVs, yes. MRI systems, yes. beanies, no. oscilloscopes, yes. micromotors, yes. mass transit trains, yes. tongue depressors, no. PBX phone systems, yes. catnip, no. semiconductors, yes. lots of products, lots. over 20,000. <laughs> yeah, but who's counting? Wondering why you can't find your favorite coach? Thinking maybe he's been taken out of the game? No way! He's just changed playing fields and moved to a new night. I don't want to move. Well, Luther, you're going to move. Oh, no! You, the coach, Dauber, and the whole gang are on a new night. Where are we going? To Saturday night at 1035. I think that's a really good idea. Watch all new episodes of Coach, Saturday nights at 1035, following 9 News. I think this is the perfect place for me, even though I have no idea where it is. <laughs> I want someone to listen to me. I want my boss to hear my side. I want my kids to behave. I want my dog to fetch. <sighs> At least at Burger King, I can say, Hi, I want a Whopper Junior. Flame broth so it tastes good. I can say, Hold the pickles. Hold the Add fries and a drink and make it $1.99. And they actually listen. <clears throat> I could get used to that. Burger King, get your burgers worth. Why would the Rocky Mountain News call Amendment 11 lousy public policy? They read between the lines of deliberately vague language allowing unscrupulous lawyers to make millions suing businesses without helping injured workers. Vague enough that herbalists, psychic healers, and outright fakes can rip off the system and all locked into our Constitution. 11 risks new opportunities for fraud, says the Denver Post. Newspapers statewide agree, no on 11. Watch for me on the Denver Huddle, Monday at 6.30 on Channel 9. The Prudential Halftime Report, brought to you by the Prudential. Peace of mind, it comes with every piece of the rock. From our New York studios, your host, John Saunders. Welcome, all Nebraska in the first half. 17 to nothing is the lead over Colorado, and actually the Buffaloes are luckily, lucky rather, it could be a lot worse than that. Let's check some scores right now, starting off with Auburn, still unbeaten, 
coming into this game, but down seven to nothing now in the second quarter. Junior Soley picks up the mistake of Patrick Nix, who had no business firing that pass, and then this is a nose guard. That's why it's taken some time to get to the end zone. He rumbles and finds his way there for the touchdown, and Arkansas has the lead seven to nothing. Score now in the second quarter. Duke against Florida State. Duke is unbeaten. Florida State has one loss. That to Miami. And Burt Reynolds is ready to roll. He's going to bankruptcy, but he can still go to football games. And Danny Cannell tossing this pass to the corner right there to Andre Cooper. They miss the extra point. Then James Colsey fumbles the punt. It's recovered by Tijon Redman, who takes it five yards for the touchdown. Florida State leads 14-6. Danny Cannell then again 24 yards to Omar Ellison. 21 to 6, and that's where it stands right now. Cannell with two touchdown passes in the game. Wisconsin and Michigan. This one is seesawed back and forth. 17 to 13 is the score. The Cheeseheads make the long ride down to Ann Arbor. Todd Collins probably should have just slid out of bounds, but he tries to dive and he gets hit in the hip. A hip pointer. He left the game, did return. Tyrone Wheatley in the game, going 24 yards here on this touchdown run, and Michigan led it 13 to 10. Darrell Bevel then goes two yards to J.C. Dawkins, 17 to 13. Wisconsin has the lead now over Michigan. Seth Smith has a 100-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. That is a new Michigan record. Texas facing Texas Tech. Zebby Lethbridge has a 25-yard pass to Sheldon Bass in this game, and that's where they stand right now as Texas against Texas Tech. The winner of this game still in the running for the Cotton Bowl. And it's an interesting matchup there because there are still three or four teams in the running to get to that bowl game. Texas is ranked number 19. And right now, Pittsburgh over Temple, 21-7. Pittsburgh has the lead in the game. David Sumner has a 20-yard interception return for a touchdown. Wake Forest against Clemson. Clemson leads 3-0, just a field goal in that game. In the Big Ten. Indiana and Michigan State, they are scoreless in the first quarter. Yale against Penn in the Ivy League. Penn with a 17-game winning streak. That's the longest in Division I AA. Tennessee and South Carolina in the SEC. Tennessee is on the board now. Peyton Manning has an eight-yard touchdown pass to James Stewart. And in the Mid-American Conference, Miami of Ohio leading Bowling Green 7-0 is the score there. Dylan McCullough has a one-yard touchdown run. We'll continue with more of the Prudential Halftime Report in just a moment. But first, a listen to the Nebraska Band as we look at some more scores from around the nation, including Louisiana Tech trailing West Virginia 7-3. Jimmy Gary has a 17-yard touchdown run for the Mountaineers. on the Prudential Halftime Report. The Buffalo's offense struggling in the first half, but that has not been the case this year. We'll look at the quarterback and his coach in a moment. Financial concerns. Medical problems. Anxiety about the future. The loss of a loved one. The pressures we all face. The emotions we all experience. 50 million Americans, one out of every five of us, have found they can cope better, feel more secure, actually improve their lives by turning for help to one particular company. A company whose sole purpose has always been to provide its customers with products and services that bring them to a different state of mind. Peace of mind. Security. Protection. Preparation, optimism, peace of mind. It comes with every piece of the rock. Willa Cather dreamed of novel ideas. Johnny Carson's dreams were comical. Barbara Hendrick's dreams began on a high note. George Beatle's dreams were ingenious. Rob Zadiska dreams of tackling tough subjects. Great dreams need great teachers. They found them at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln.
Welcome back once again to the Prudential Halftime Report. Let's update that score between Texas Tech and Texas. We told you Zebby Lethbridge had thrown a 25-yard touchdown pass. And here's a look at it as he goes to Sheldon Bass. Behind everyone, he just walks it into the end zone, and Texas Tech has the 7 to nothing lead there. In the first half, Cordell Stewart is struggling. He's 2 for 6 with 7 yards, although he has had success running the ball. 7 carries for 44 yards. But take a look at what Cordell Stewart has done to his game compared to last year in the Colorado offense as well. They've certainly moved ahead from 10th to number 2 and from 46th to number 5 as far as his quarterback rating. Stewart, Westbrook, and Salam returned from last year, but as Julie Moran tells us, something new was added to the Buffalo's mix. Another autumn and the Buffalo's offense is letting it all hang out. Taking a run at the national championship and how about a Heisman Trophy while you're at it? Senior quarterback Cordell Stewart has led this offense to the next level. His game has gone up a notch, but much of the credit goes to a 33-year-old assistant coach, fresh from Southern California. His name is Rick Neuheisel. What is the biggest change in the offense that you see since Coach Neuheisel came on board? The biggest change I would have to say is, um, is in our quarterback. Cordell Stewart, he's um he's become so complete as far as um being a quarterback or what I envision a quarterback as being. Cordell clicking and our offense is clicking, so Coach Newhouse always has Cordell clicking every Saturday. Cordell was going to mature anyway, but Rick has accelerated his maturity. Rick is all over him, and Cordell really likes to be coached like that, and I like that about Cordell. And I like that about Rick. What he likes best about Rick is his pedigree. As a player, Rick received MVP honors while guiding UCLA to a Rose Bowl victory over Illinois in 1984. In 1986, he joined Terry Donahue's staff specifically to teach Troy Aikman the offense. But after six seasons as a full-time assistant, Rick decided to trade in Brew and Blue for the bluer skies of Boulder. One thing is certain, when it comes to quarterbacking, he's gone the distance. You know, Cordell says about you, he says, he's one of us. He's been there. How advantageous... That's just because I don't shave. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like one of them. <laughs> but how, really, how advantageous is that to have been there? Oh, I think it's uh, critical. I don't say that you can't coach without having been there, but I think that having thrown several interceptions myself, I know why I did it. And, uh, you know, when you, when you can talk to a kid on a, on a level where, hey, when he does this, you've got to do that. And you, and you can, having been in that helmet, uh, you can communicate things that maybe others haven't experienced. To sharpen Stewart's decision-making skills, New Heisel has developed some unique coaching tools. Quarterback and coach play a game of 20 questions using a cassette recorder every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before the game. New Heisel presents the situation. Then Stewart has to verbalize what he'd do in any given circumstance. The process has paid off. It's all about preparations. If if I come in nervous about something, that's because I'm not prepared. If I come in relaxed and calm, that's because I know exactly what's going on, and that's the way I've been in the past. And by me working with him, he's giving me confidence in myself, and I've understand my capabilities as far as doing certain things in certain situations. Quarterbacking is nothing more than a, a series of pictures in your head, and the more repetitions, the more things you see and experience, the better off you're going to be. Cordell's going to come in here next. What's, what's a question I can ask him, and let's see if he gets it right. Oh, good, good question. All right, I want you to ask him, uh, what is he going to do on uh, nine switch versus nine switch. nine switch versus cover three? Versus cover three. Now, you're promising three. this is Aaron at halftime. Promise. <laughs> I don't want the Huskers to know exactly <laughs> what's going on. Nine switch versus cover three. Okay. We'll see if he gets nine right. switch versus cover three. Make sure he gets that right. Oh, well, nine switch first, I'd take a five-step drop, a quick five-step drop, and just read the, the cornerback and just read to whatever side he goes to. If he goes to the outside, go to the inside. If he goes to the inside, I go to the outside. So it's just a matter of what the cornerback does on that play. And if the free safety goes over whatever, I go back to the other side. So he's trying to, he's trying to trick me a little bit, but I think I'm on my game with that one. Now, nine switch. Did you look at game? The Buffaloes better hope they can find the switch that turns on their offense in the second half, down 17 to nothing. Back with more in a moment. But first, here's a look at some more scores. Gingerbread molding, colonial columns, 
a stained glass window, a white picket fence. Owning your own home is still a big piece of the American dream. One of America's most innovative real estate networks can help you put the pieces together, no matter which door you want to enter, which window you want to look out of. Peace of mind. It comes with every piece of the rock. College can be a bridge to the future. It's a place where you're free to express yourself. A time to find out what you're really capable of. But when testing your limits involves alcohol, when breaking away includes drinking and driving, when expressing yourself includes losing control, the lessons you learn in college may not help you get anywhere at all. The Prudential Halftime Report has been brought to you by the Prudential Peace of Mind. It comes with every piece of the rock. Welcome back. Your second half is straight ahead. Let's update one score for you. Auburn is now on the board against Arkansas. Matt Hawkins, a 33-yard field goal, but the Razorbacks still lead it 7-3. At 3.30 Eastern Time, regional coverage of four other games, but the big one between Ohio State and Penn State, the Nittany Lions may need to win big if they hope to retain that number one spot. For an update and a preview of that game, let's join Roger Twibel. Office Bank of Monitors is where our producer and director control the action during the game as Ohio State comes in to meet Penn State on homecoming. Dick. Ohio State produced their best win of the year against Purdue last week, but the Nittany Lions really control their own destiny in the race for the Roses. Oh, they do, Rods, but the director is Kerry Collins, the quarterback, number one in the country, and the producer. John Carter, better than seven yards of pop. These Lions won't be sleeping today, Mark Jones. A real festive atmosphere here at Bayside Marketplace in Miami, Florida, with two teams trying to dock their ships at top spot in the Big East. Both Miami and Virginia Tech come into the game on three-game winning streaks. Virginia Tech off to its best start since 1967. Miami, meanwhile, is 59-1 and at the Orange Bowl. Should be a great game. Now let's go to Terry Gannon. Normally at this time of the year, the folks that hang out here at the campus barbershop in Eugene, like Mark, don't talk Oregon football. Isn't that right, Mark? We talk hunting, fishing, and rain. Right, but this year is different because the Ducks are still in the Pac-10 race. Could go to their first Rose Bowl since 1958. Now, Arizona's in the driver's seat at 4-0, but Marv, what do you think? We think this is our year, but let's go to Steve Zabriskie in Chapel Hill. When most people think about North Carolina, North Carolina State, they think basketball. So who better to ask about the football rivalry than the great basketball coach, Dean Smith? Go you know, the excitement will be just like a basketball game, except there's twice as many people, and there'll be some noise. Will you be one of them? I surely will be. I bet you have good seats, too. Let's go back to John Saunders. All right, Steve, thanks a lot. Texas Tech has added another touchdown. Zebby Lethbridge has two touchdown passes. They lead 13-0. Back in a moment. Nancy gives me the information, then I contact our customer. We've settled hundreds of claims together. John's attitude is... You've got to be quick, and you've got to be fair. Quick and fair. At State Farm, teamwork is what it's all about. We make a great team. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Kellogg's Raisin Bran tastes so good, people forget it's nutritious. Why do you eat it? Nutrition. Good. I'm a health nut. Wheat bran. I love it. Wait a minute. Is this true? 10% more raisins <laughs> free. Wow, that. more raisins yeah, we're free. About nutrition. Free raisins. Ooh, Ooh la la. Uh, that's not important. It's, yes, it's... it is. Now Kellogg's Raisin Bran has 10% more raisins absolutely free. Forget what it says behind my hand. 10% more raisins. Free. <laughs> 
As college football celebrates its 125th anniversary, NASDAQ, the stock market for the next 100 years, presents this great moment. In 1982, with the poise that would become his trademark, future All-Pro Dan Marino led Pitt to a last-minute touchdown against West Virginia. Goes for Dawkins. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Opposing Marino was Jeff Hostetler, but the Pitt defense crushed any hope for a Mountaineer comeback. It began with a single shoe store and a commitment to customer satisfaction unique in retailing. Today, that philosophy has spawned 72 stores across America. And even at a time when retail sales were dismal, Nordstrom climbed to a record $3 billion. Where do you find companies that are selling at a time when nobody's buying? Actually, there's a list of them printed every day. NASDAQ, the stock market for the next 100 years. It was 28 games ago that the Colorado Buffaloes failed to score in the first half. They trailed Nebraska today 17 to nothing. And every one of Nebraska's possessions, Bob Greasy, have gone across the middle of the field. Well, I, there's no doubt in my mind that Tom Osborne has saved a few things the last couple of weeks for Colorado. Offensively, he's had some quarterback problems. He's cut the offense back, but he saved a few things for this game today. A quick look at the two touchdowns now for Nebraska. The first one was the 14-yard run by Corey Schlesinger to make it a 7-0 ball game. This was the second possession. The first one, they had snapped the ball over the quarterback's head, the shotgun, and missed an opportunity to score. But the big pullback got there for that one, a 24-yard field goal by Sealer, and then this two-yard run by the I-back, Clinton Childs, and that's how we got to 17 to nothing at halftime. Now, that's an impressive... Uh, Score, 17 to nothing but it's not all offense there's some pretty good defense going on for these the, corners. the Nebraska defense dominated yeah. and one there's one play I'd like to show on the telestrator that indicates how well Nebraska has played this play right here watch as there's two linebackers and two defensive linemen right in the middle now 41 that's Ellis at the snap of the ball he will come in the confusion that this causes in the center of the line He's going to come in. He's going to hit Stewart. This was supposed to be a shovel pass. Donna Jones, 84, almost intercepts the ball for a touchdown. All right, we're ready to go with a second half now as Nebraska leads it 17 to nothing. Colorado will have the ball to start the second half of play. They won the original toss. And the second half's underway. Down the field, it goes to Kidd. He looked for some daylight and found some as he got the ball out to about the 28-yard line. So look at the first half stats. They are all in favor of Nebraska. There are no turnovers. Time of possession big in favor of Nebraska. Total offense 234 to 89. This offense for Colorado is second in the nation in total offense. Only 89 yards in the first half. And they come out revved up. You know that. Here is Cordell Stewart trying to get around the corner. And it's the defensive pursuit of Troy Dumas that keeps him from turning upfield and turning that into a big play because Dumas really was the last guy. He really only had four possessions. The last was just before the half. They finally moved it for 12 plays and missed the field goal, but really nothing doing for the Bucks in the first half. Put the ball on the 34-yard line. Second down and four. Stewart was two of six, only seven yards passing, rushing. A Salam had 38. Not much, uh, not much offense on that graphic. Phil Savoy checks into the lineup now as Westbrook goes in motion for Colorado on third down, second down and four. Stewart's pass down the middle, just beyond the reaching hands of Matt Lexus. So all of a sudden, the Colorado tight end becomes adventurous. The other one. Well, that's exactly right. What they're forcing Colorado to do is go to their left hand, not the right hand. Fourier is the other tight end. He's caught a lot of balls. Lepsis has not caught many balls, and he is the guy that is getting free downfield. They're forcing Colorado to go to him. So it is third and four. The ball at the 34. Buffalo 0 for 4 today in third down conversion drive. Nebraska's got 
seven people up on the line of scrimmage, and Cordell Stewart does not like the look of things and goes to the sidelines to have a talk. Jim was the leader of the pack, and they were looking for adventure. Jim, breaking in those new bikes, huh? Thought you two could use a cold one. Thanks. Ah, ice cold O'Doul's. Not alcohol and only 70 calories. Perfect for a real road warrior like Jim. When you want refreshing beer taste in a non-alcohol brew, think O'Doul's. It's what beer drinkers drink when they're not drinking beer. PageNet, America's number one wireless messaging company, is proud to sponsor the 125th anniversary of college football. Since the days of leather caps and broken teeth, the game has come a long way. But it's still a game of contact. And who knows more about contact than PageNet, the company that keeps more people in close contact nationwide. What could possibly be as precise as the tolerances within one of the finest Swiss watches available? How about some of the tolerances within the engine and suspension of one of the finest automobiles available? The newest Lexus ES300. Let others follow. The PGA Tour's richest prize is up for grabs. Golf's top players tee off in the final round of the Tour Championship, Sunday, here on ABC. As we come back, it is third down and four when the timeout was called by Stewart. Nebraska was in a blitz posture, and they're still gathered all right up around the line of scrimmage. Peter almost jumped offside. Stewart back to throw, lets it go down the middle. It is knocked away. What a great play by Tyrone Williams. I mean, Williams saved a touchdown because Michael Westbrook at six foot four was on his way home. Man-to-man -man coverage all the way because the Nebraska was blitzing. Everybody, there's nobody in the center of the field. If he catches this ball, he's got a lot of running room. But Williams, number eight, does the job. That's just good defense, Keith. We're going to put pressure on the quarterback and on the offensive line, and we are tough enough to cover the guys you got downfield. And they did it. That'll take away some of your will, too, if they keep doing it. Here's the punt by Mitchell. Gets a little better kick on it this time, and back to receive it is Kareem Moss. Looking for a little help. And they don't get there in time, and so they take him down just about the 30-yard line. 43-yard punt, six-yard return. And here's 20. Well, Keith, at the end of the first half, Nebraska wasn't going to change anything, and that's expected. When I talked to Bill McCartan, he felt that he had to get Cordell Stewart more confident in the game plan. Nebraska's defense is just not giving them much time to throw. He's got to come back, make the quick read, have confidence in it, and throw the football. They feel like they've got to throw the football to open up that defense so the running attack can go. Keith? They tried to do that a couple of times in that series, and there was the coverage was there. Lawrence Phillips is the eye back and single back now for Nebraska as Brooke Barringer, who's been outstanding, gives it to him. And Phillips turns up field and he picks up another six or seven yards. When you get six or seven yards on your first down run, you're doing all right. Nebraska had the ball five times and scored on three of those, two touchdowns and one field goal. Pretty good field position, much better field position than Colorado got. Very simple thing about the game of football. It's simply a matter of acquisition of real estate, isn't it? Sure is. Beringer, 9 of 12, had a good first half. And as long as Nebraska can continue to run the ball, and they have the ball, Colorado can't hurt them. And that's kind of the game that Dr. Tom's playing right now. Here's the ball in the middle of the fullback, and that's a first down for the Cornhuskers. Schlesinger, running over the left side, will move the chains to about the 43-yard line. The difference has been in the offensive and defensive lines, Keith, and especially the defensive line for Nebraska. They are just controlling the game, but this Nebraska offensive line also is doing a nice job of opening the holes. From the 43, 
Starting the second half of play with the Cornhuskers leading 17 to nothing. Phillips. That's another first down for the Colorado 45. Wigert, Sky, Schlesinger. The wedge in front. Got him past the line of scrimmage. Number two, Zach Wiegert. Number right here. Watch as he's good. 72, excuse me. He's going to go in. Watch the block that he gets on the inside linebacker. Wiegert slides inside. Knocks him. Knocks him off the line. Stays with him. Good feet. Actually ends up running back inside of the block on the linebacker by Wiegert. So from the 45 of Colorado, it's first down. Formation set the other way this time. And Phillips to the 40. It's a five-yard pick on this. It's a big possession, Keith. Yep. For, uh, bigger for Colorado than for Nebraska, but, uh, I mean, they came out fired up. I'm talking about Colorado, and they had a pretty good offensive series, if you can call three plays and out and two incomplete passes, but they got the ball to the area where it needed to be, to be, to be gotten to. They just didn't make the play. Now, the defense has to come out and say, all right, we're shutting this down to give our offense another chance. Phillips now getting close to 100 yards. He's had 17 carries for 92 net yards so far. Barry Gill on an option. Turns up field with it. Hangs away to the 35, and he's close to his first down, but they may mark him a half a yard or so short. Leading uh, the leader. Colorado defensively and leading tackler Johnson 46 fights his way down the line gets there maybe gets a piece of the tackle but about five or six yards downfield third down and one Akavica is in at fullback 210 pounds Phillips. There's your first down. It's a big hit by T.J. Cunningham, but long after Lawrence Phillips was downfield for the first down. Put the ball on the 31.
year sale and 25% savings on four of our most popular radials for passenger cars and light trucks. But you gotta hurry. The big tire sale ends November 5th at participating Goodyear retailers. When this country started expanding, American Express introduced what was right for the times. When Americans started traveling abroad, we introduced what was right for the times. When people wanted to carry less cash, we introduced what was right for the times. And today, when the world revolves too fast, American Express has a new credit card that doesn't. Introducing the Optima True Grace card. The only major credit card with an interest-free grace period on new purchases, even when you carry a balance. A low interest rate if you choose to extend payment. And no annual fee. Just use it three times a year. Look for a in your mail or call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. The Optima True Grace card. The right card for the times. CFA College Football on ABC Sports brought to you by Lexus, maker of the faster and roomier 1995 LS 400. And Fram oil filters. Fram, you can pay a little now or a lot later. Brooke Beringer having a big day in a big game. has caught four balls today for 70 yards and a touchdown. That kick kind of dying well. It just kind of hit there for the foot. And it is picked up and a penalty flag is thrown by the referee Jim Laurie, Herschel Troutman. Haleback had the ball and worked it up around the 25. But let's see about the penalty. Here's John Laurie. Block in the back against Colorado. Tomorrow night on ABC starts with America's Funniest Videos and On Our Own. Then we'll have all new Lois and Clark, followed by Judith Light in a world premiere movie Against Their Will, Women in Prison. All tomorrow night on ABC. We've got some funny sound effects going on around here. I thought there was a jet passing through the door. <laughs> the penalty moves it back. And on first and ten, the ball is snapped from the 11, and Stewart throws to the sidelines to Lepsis, the tight end. And he will pick up a first down on the play and not get up. Shake it up on the play. Well, you got a timeout as the Colorado trainers go racing across the field to attend to their big tight end. This has been one, one thing that Colorado has been very fortunate the last few years is very few injuries, very few serious injuries to any of their top uh, line players. With Lepsis having to leave the game, that'll get another sophomore, Desmond Dennis, in at that position for Colorado. The ball is at the 25, where it is first down for the Buffaloes, and you've got timeout. Don't replace your air and oil filters regularly. You might as well drive your car off a cliff. Because dirt can really mess up an engine. Fram Extra Life Air Filters and Fram Extra Guard Oil Filters keep out dirt best to protect your engine. Fram, America's number one premium brand. Pay a little now or a lot later. cobblestones. In the newest Lexus ES300, there are over 96 components designed to isolate vibrations. Two hundred million versus 96. Sounds fair. The 1995 ES300. Let others follow. 
to look at the two quarterbacks today. Stewart came in, the number five rated passer in the nation. Barringer's stats uh, put him at number two in the conference. Right now, the pressure is on him. This team trails 24 nothing in the third quarter. And the ball to Salon, who has been controlled so far today, and this time gets around the corner, and he is tackled out of bounds. That's a late hit by Phil Ellis, and it's going to cost Nebraska 15 big yards. Well, if there's any team, Keith, as you see a personal foul against Nebraska, if there's any team that can make up 24 four points in less than a half, it's uh, Colorado because they are explosive. They have scored a lot of points in a short period of time. So look at Rick Neuheisel. He is the guru of the quarterbacks here at CU. Salam now has 50 yards in the ball game with that run. Back on the penalty, and it's first down Colorado at the Nebraska 48. They come to this side again. Stewart keeps it, and Kareem Moss, number 29, is up there to get him. Bill Ellis comes over to help. Nebraska and Charlie McBride, their coordinator, have shut down the option for the Buffaloes. He said the other day that he had a couple of different ideas that he was going to use, and he has effectively shut those down. One of them was a, was a call where the cornerback would come across the line of scrimmage immediately and just take the uh, flip man, the toss man, man to man. You've got Westbrook and Kidd going way wide to the top of the picture. No backs. No backs. Salam is a receiver down the sideline. The ball is drilled into the middle of the field of Westbrook. He is wrestled down finally at the 35-yard line. Now here's 20. Keith, you and Bob were talking about Colorado and their ability to come back in ball games. One of the big reasons is because of the great speed they have on the team. The slowest guy in their skill positions happens to be a guy who's a tight end who's only going 4.6. Their quarterback has got speed of 4.3, so they can strike in one play and get back in the scoreboard. Salam tries a carry here and gets nothing out of it. Boy, Dumas was there to meet him. Little shoving match between Ed Stewart and one of the Buffalo. Oh, yeah, yeah, the tight end. Yeah, Fourier, and uh, Stewart was howling at the official to do something about it. Nothing was done. Second down and ten. Along again, wide to the bottom of the picture as a receiver. He's a good one. And Stewart had a look at him and throws it to him. The ball is bouncing around and he's the ground and is ruled an incomplete forward pass. He never really had his grip on it. The ball was bouncing around the whole time. They're lucky it was not intercepted. <laughs> We're knocking that ball around for about five yards. Yep. And you're right. It's your could have been intercepted. No backs again. They're spreading the defense out. <laughs> Got to throw it quick because you don't have much time. That's a wide receiver screen to Salam. He was lined up as a wide receiver. Just didn't come down with it. The throw could have been better. Carruth is way wide, uh, and he's the speedster, and they want to go to him, and they let it fly, and Westbrook is in the end zone, and he's over everybody's head, and it is incomplete. And so once again, the Nebraska Blackshirts, the defense, hanging tough. It's fourth down and ten. They're going to go for it here, Keith. Stewart came to the sidelines, got his play. Not the first time they've done it. They're five out of five. They've tried it five times this season. Let's see what happens. Again, Salam is a wide receiver. Here they come. They got a piece of him, but he stepped away from it. And get another piece of him and take him down at the 41 yard line where the Nebraska Cornhuskers will have the football. I mean, that Nebraska defensive front on that play just sold out. All right, 
they're going to blitz. What that does, we're saying we can cover you on the outside one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to give you all this room down here. We can cover you. We've got more guys that you can block. The linebackers are putting the first man he gets away from. Then he gets away from another one right here. Just too much quickness on the defensive side for Nebraska. And the Huskers take over with Schlesinger back in at fullback and Phillips behind him. And that's Brendan Holbein in motion. Phillips shakes the tackler, gets around the corner, and picks up seven yards. Here's a look at the top 25. Uh, of course, Colorado losing here. Auburn is losing. A lot of later games. Michigan and uh, Duke are losing. Texas. Lawrence Phillips now has his ninth straight 100-yard-plus game. He's broken Bob Reynolds, 1950 in Nebraska record. Phillips is having another big day. That was Schlesinger trying for the first down on that carry and didn't get there. It takes some resolve, don't you think, Bob, for a, a, a tail, an eye back or a tailback, a running back. But when when uh, Frazier went down and before Beringer had really assumed his posture for the offense, I mean, Phillips is looking at 30, 35 carries a game. Yes, he was. As you think of Tommy Frazier. Yep. But, uh, you got to be a pretty tough guy to get hammered that many times. He's looking. And he does not get the first down on third down and a yard and a half. They've held him. So they'll be looking at fourth and short. And the ball is at the Colorado 49 yard line. 20. We're waiting for to see if a punter comes. Lynn Swan. Well, Keith, you're talking about Beringer in the, in the backfield and Phillips. I think one of the ingredients missing when you don't have Frazier is the ability to get around the end. So far in this afternoon, in this ball game, not once has Colorado actually, uh, excuse me, Nebraska been able to turn the corner to run the option. You've got a faster quarterback in the ball game. You might be able to get there, get the ball to Phillips to turn down the field. But so far, Beringer is doing a great job throwing the football, but showing he doesn't have that kind of speed for the option. Keith? Right now, Tom Osborne has uh, decided he doesn't want to get foolish here. He's yeah. not going to mess with it at yeah. uh, half a yard to go on fourth down. Put it down there and see what happens. The other thing he is thinking now, winning this game, uh, he's back in the national championship uh, sure. uh, picture. If he, if he goes on and wins this game, when they first lost Frazier, they thought that maybe not. But now Beringer is back and uh, playing pretty well. And uh, you know, who knows? First hat is in the punt. And it's Chris Hudson, Hudson waiting for it. It's it way up in the air, forcing Chris into a fair catch call. And he makes it inside the 10. So he's back at the eight yard line. And that's where the uh, Buffaloes will have to start. Very poor field position at 6.43 to go in the third quarter, and you're down 24 to nothing. Those are the games that are coming up next here on ABC Sports. You might want to check your cable operator. The game is not being shown in your area. See what your cable man has to offer for your pay-per-view. At Ohio State, Penn State game, very big ball game with the whole Big Ten structure of things. And the field position for Colorado has just been awful all day for the Buffs. Cordell Stewart lets it go. The ball is caught by Michael Westbrook. Shrugs off a tackler and gets it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Westbrook is 6'4", 210 pounds, and very strong. You don't arm tackle him. There's a little bit of urgency here now. you got to start throwing the ball on first down. Westbrook with great speed. Big receiver. Caught over 70 passes a couple of years ago when the style of the offense was a little bit different than it is today. And Leslie Dennis, uh, freshman uh, quarterback at 5'8", 165, is not going to handle it. And that one up the middle to Salam, and he's gone to the races. Finally out of bounds, way downfield at the 30-yard line of Nebraska, and it was Baron Miles who finally came across and caught him. 
from behind there's going to be a block by the wide receiver watch the blocking up front that's Irwin 63 that gets a good block on the middle line well now watch from the left side right there was a wide receiver with a good block that sprung him for 41 yards just inside the 30 first down for the Buffalo crowd starting to come up at that end of the field now making more noise and Stewart back dumps it off to Salon as a blocker in front of him and reaches the 24 before he is taken down that's about a six yard pickup this is simple looking offensive stuff now but it's if you just you know dig your heels in it yeah. still works but it's time but it's time to start throwing out some of the stuff that you brought into the game and say hey we're down 24 points it's getting into to uh, near the end of the third quarter we need to open up we need to throw the plays and run the plays and have a chance to make some big yards. Salon comes back to the inside. Not there as Dante Jones was among those who helped anchor the defense. Here's 20. Well, Keith, they do have to open up to try and put some points on the scoreboard, but they're going to have to do it without number 88 sophomore tight end Matt Lepsis. He will be out of the ball game. He has a separated shoulder. And by the way, Steve Rosca. His injury was updated at halftime. He has torn cartilage in his left knee. Keith? So two players are gone from the roster, two of the starters. Yep. Third down and four now for Colorado at the 23 of Nebraska. That's so long. Won't get there. You got to go for it, though. Jones again is among that group along with Christian Peter a big defensive lineman from Locust New Jersey was at the bottom of that stack Peter is, is number two in tackles on this defensive team it's very rare that you see a defensive tackle near the top in tackles on the team on the defense and he is he's number two fourth and two well I'm getting close to 100 now this is the deepest penetration of the ball game by the Colorado Buffalo. The officials stop. The the defense uh, helmet problem there, I think. Dante Jones, the uh, defensive end who was in on that hit. They're going to charge uh, Nebraska with a timeout at 4-11 to play in the third quarter and leading 24 to nothing. <laughs> Fooled you. Now see if you're any better at guessing which is the real thing and which is Hitachi Ultravision. Too tough to call? That's because of Ultravision's ultra clear, ultra sharp, and ultra bright picture. Hit it! Okay! Ultra clear! Ultra sharp! Ultra bright! Ultra vision! Maybe she wants my autograph. Maybe! Yeah! Ultra vision. Only from Hitachi. This shop is very much different now. Ford customers told us what they wanted. We have people up on the drive that greet them as soon as they come in. The car is written up within a few minutes, and once we get the repair order in hand, we get a pretty good idea where to go and what we're looking for. The top priority is fix it right the first time on time. Quality care standards, it must work pretty good. We get letters, cards, a handshake now and then. You know, people let us know. This is what they want. Quality care people, quality care standards at your Ford and Lincoln Mercury dealer. I don't need some fancy cologne to tell me I'm a man. I use Skin Bracer. It smells great. But it also cools and tones my skin. Confidence is very sexy. Don't you think? Original and cooling blue. By Men. With Minwax Polyurethane, you can do more than admire your wood. You can live with it, too, because Minwax contains pure urethane oil to protect wood while giving it beauty you can really live with. Minwax keeps wood beautiful. The ball is located at the Nebraska 21-yard line. Fourth down and two for the Colorado Buffalo. 24-0, Nebraska leading. Big play right here. Miller is in at fullback. He's usually in there to block. Crowd trying to make it as difficult as possible down there for Stewart. Stewart on the option. Danny goes. Number 99. 
Terry Cornelie. Cornelie blowing up the middle. And the big senior from Hyannis got his man. Just too quick on the defensive side. 55 Peter and Keneally number 99. And Keneally gets there. Just too big and strong and quick. Tried to run the option this way. It didn't look good anyway, even if he hadn't have cut back, and he did because it didn't look good. I don't think they would have picked it up if he continued this way. Schlesinger and Phillips in the backfield behind Beringer. Phillips. There's nothing there for him. Nothing. Shannon Clavell, number 92, makes the tackle. He lost about a yard. Here's a look at the uh, score there. Um, if you don't, if you're not interested in the scores and you just want to know who won and lost, just grab the yellow one there. That's that'll tell you who wins in all finals. Now that's not uh, that's not on updates. You don't see any yellow there, but on the finals you'll see the yellow. So with the winners, you got them. That's Phillips again. Pursuit Pierce. On him right now, and he's going to lose some more. Back to about the 21. So they've really decided to go after Phillips and take him away from him. Well, defensively, uh, the Buffs have got to be more aggressive. They've got to take more chances. Maybe try to get some turnovers, strip the ball. Because the offense, which is normally very productive, has not produced today. Shotgun, Beringer Throws the interception. Threw it right to him. Dalton Simmons. He had one man over there in the middle of three Buffaloes. He should never in the world have thrown the ball, and it's picked off. And Colorado comes away the winner of that skirmish at 2.38 to go in the third quarter. Simmons is uh, the corner. Simmons is up here. The receiver's going to go down and break to the outside. Simmons is going to let him go because he has help deep. But he sees it all the way, and Beringer didn't even see. That's Three the turnover. The lows, right there. First turnover. That's the first turnover of the ball game. It's on the 36th. First down for the Buffaloes. John Laurie has to come over and kind of move Colorado back off the side of the field. They're supposed to stay back behind that white boundary that goes around the field. Wisconsin uh, getting their act back together after stumbling around a good bit on the earliest part of the season. Yes, sir. They took a whipping from this Colorado team. First down for the Buffaloes. Now let's see if they can make something of their opportunity from the 36-yard line. Cordell Stewart back, looks to throw it, does, and is there. Pass is drilled, caught by Ray Carruth. And Ray Carruth will pick up about eight yards on the play. Now let's join John Saunders. Keith, Wisconsin against Michigan, and as you mentioned, Wisconsin has it going again. Darrell Bevel, one reason he was injured, he's back to Tony Simmons, his second touchdown reception of the game. 12 receptions, seven for touchdowns for Simmons. Bevel has three on the day, 24-13. On second down and one, Salam carries the ball and looks like he may have the first down as he picks up about a yard on the play. They won't change on it, it's that close. McCartney has been in Colorado for 12 years. This is his 13th year. He is 3-8 and 1 against Nebraska, and he's only won one time here in Lincoln of the five games that they've played. They have the first down, just inside the 26. They're in this position after the interception by Simmons. Really the first time today that the Colorado defense has stepped up and stuffed well, Nebraska and, and done anything. Before that, Colorado, I mean, uh, Nebraska's offense had crossed midfield on every yeah. possession. Yeah. John 
getting into the act again as Stewart tries to call his play. Has some time. There it goes, and the receiver falls down. No flag. It is Kidd who uh, bucked into Baron Miles and fell down, but that contact yeah, I didn't mean anything. That kid, Miles, uh, Keith, we haven't called his name a whole lot today, but is an outstanding cover guy. Only 5'8". He can get it done. Came in with four interceptions and uh, has covered everybody that's been out there. Second down and 10. Comes back to this side to Westbrook. Can't wait. Six-yard line, Michael Westbrook. He is really strong once he gets that ball tucked away. And you cannot arm tackle him. You just got to drill him to get him down. It'll be first and goal at the six. A lot of teams call this wide receiver screen a jailbreak. Watch as the offensive line are going to go down. The, off, the other line goes the other way. And uh, the receiver, the bottom of your screen is the wide receiver. They can throw this either way. Once to the back, to the right, or the split end to the left. Salam, touchdown. Colorado finally gets on the scoreboard at 106 to play in the third quarter. Salam now with 102 yards on the day, getting his 19th touchdown. The offensive line for Colorado is very good. They have not played that well today because the Nebraska defense is just so quick. Oscar Ritrian knocks it up and in. And at 106, it is now a 24-7 ball game. Take a look from behind that offensive line. Nioli and West on the right. Stoltenberg is the center. That's Dennis, 89, getting a good block. And this, the, this offense that's used to scoring a lot of points, it almost takes them three full quarters to score here this afternoon. Now you have come to a, one of those times in a ball game where old Mo has got to decide what kind of what color shirt he's well, going to well wear. You, you and I know we've done Colorado a couple of times this year. You know how quickly they can score. I mean that offense is explosive. They got speed at wide receivers. Stewart is very capable. The running back Salam can go the distance at any time. There is no doubt that, uh, and Nebraska knows this, that uh, this game is still uh, is out there to be won. Cornhuskers uh, need to respond here. Otherwise, we might we might get to be a screamer. You've seen a couple of those. <laughs> I told uh, Mac that I'm not sure I can handle the too many Colorado games. I don't know how he's, they hold up under it. I mean, this last second stuff. Woo. That kick is high. Wind's going to hang it up a little bit. Finally, it is taken at about the 14-yard line by Clinton Child. And Clinton gets a big return out of it. Comes all the way out for the 46-yard line. And here suddenly are the Cornhuskers now in the middle of the field. But it's got to be a total team effort for Colorado. You just can't expect your offense when they get out there to go. Your special teams have got to contribute. And your defense, which the defense did. They took it away, got the interception, and the offense scored. But the special teams broke down. It's a total team effort. This is the fifth time that Nebraska has started a possession past its own 40-yard line. They have had very good field position all day. Phillips carrying it as the penalty flag flutters in the breeze. We went for a long time without one, and now we've had a lot. It's against Nebraska. Now they're starting to make little mistakes. They had a pass intercepted. Now they get an illegal motion, illegal procedure call. And uh, they suddenly turn the ball over to Colorado again, give them field position. Before you really get the fourth quarter warmed up, you're in a battle. 
after the penalty. The Oscar now first down and 15 on the 42. First down and 15 as the ball comes back. Really, it's sitting right on the 41 yard line. Vargas pass is to the tight end, Alford. And he will carry it up to the 49. That's a pickup of eight yards. So it's been one of the biggest days in Eric Alford's career as a receiver at the tight end position. Well, he came in, Keith, with five receptions and three touchdowns, and he's caught five passes today and one touchdown. So Nebraska and Osborne like the throw to their tight ends. Uh, let's see if they're going to let the time go. Three, two, one, it's over. Third quarter is over. We'll be back with a final period between the Buffaloes and Cornhuskers after this message and the word from our ABC station. All over the world, when people are late, you're guaranteed to hear excuses. The, um, alarm clock broke. Mein Goldfisch ist gestorben. Problem in der Schiffe? Oh. At UPS, however, we guarantee we'll be on time. In fact, we guarantee on-time delivery to hundreds of cities around the world, or your money back. So while you might hear... You'll never hear it from us. She'll try to drown you. She'll try to freeze you. She'll try to burn you. She'll try to blow you away. But she will not succeed. The Nissan Pathfinder. The greatest Masters of Illusion star with their phenomenal family of animals in the biggest magical event of the season. Big Breed and Roy, The Magic, The Mystery, Sunday, November 6th on ABC. Why would the Rocky Mountain News call Amendment 11 lousy public policy? They read between the lines of deliberately vague language allowing unscrupulous lawyers to make millions suing businesses without helping injured workers. Vague enough that herbalists, psychic healers, and outright fakes can rip off the system and all locked into our Constitution. Eleven risks new opportunities for fraud, says the Denver Post. Newspapers statewide agree. No on 11. At CW Electronics, expect the right solution at the right price with a staff that will talk to you on your level. Plus, you'll find a large selection of computers, software, multimedia products, cell phones, and everything you'll need for your home or office in stock with every brand name you want. Come into CW Electronics for a demo at 8th and Lincoln. All the scores from Tom Green tonight on 9 News. It was a year ago in Boulder that Nebraska jumped out to a 21-3 lead. And then hung on for dear life to finally win the game 21-17. Now the Cornhuskers have it second down and eight. The ball at the 49-yard line, their own side of the field. They lead 24-7 as we go to the fourth quarter. Beringer delivers the ball to Phillips. He's caught and taken down. For a loss on the play of two yards. Chris Hudson led the tacklers. Since the um, quarter change, the... Buffalo should have the win. Lynn, is the win still a factor as much as it was earlier in the game? I think so. Down low, it's not quite a factor. If you look at the field, sometimes you might occasionally see something blowing across on the field. But up high, it's blowing, blowing pretty steady from left to right. And I think it was a factor on the pass that Stewart tried to get to Michael Westbrook that was just knocked away by Nebraska. Had the win. He was throwing into the win. Win not been a factor. Not been in this ball game. That might have been a touchdown, Bob. Okay. Third down and 10 now. The ball back on the 47. Pass thrown to Phillips, nowhere near first down territory, and it'll bring up fourth down, and the Huskers will have to punt. Here's John. 
Keith, Michigan trying to fight back against Wisconsin. Fourth down and two. Todd Collins to Jay Ramirezma. Touchdown in the corner of the end zone, and Wisconsin still leads by five. The Big Ten standings, this one is a biggie if Michigan still hopes to be in the Rose Bowl. Penn State, Ohio State is coming up. Nebraska will punt. Colorado's got ten up. No pressure. They feel back. Kick is high in the air. Wynn holds it up. Hudson comes up, takes the ball at about the 17. And they've got him out of bounds at about the 17. Well, that was a big defensive series for Colorado because they stopped them now. Their offense is out there. If Colorado can kick one in here, Keith, this game is really going to get exciting. Colorado picked it up, uh, scoring a touchdown in their last possession. The numbers look a little bit better for them. 232 yards of total offense. Of course, the one turnover for Nebraska led to the score by the Buffalo. Possession still almost 2-1 to one in favor of Nebraska. They put it on the 15-yard line for the start of this possession. Stewart gives it to Salam, and he finds some room. And I'm starting to find some daylight for the running attack as they slant it off the tackles, and the gain is out to the 27 and a first down. And behind the defense, that's Dumas number four. Ellis is uh, 41. Moss 29 comes from the other side of the field, forces him to turn back where he gets some help from his friends. Stewart on first down, looking to throw, does, bringing Westbrook back into the middle. He chooses to go the other way. And there's a gain of about five on the play. The play design as the wide receiver screen coming inside, but it was plugged there, so Westbrook just took off the other way. Well, they're wide open now. That, uh, they're throwing, they're giving the ball to Salam on wide plays and throwing things. They need to score, and they score quickly. And they know that if they score on this one, they'll put a lot of pressure on Nebraska. Second down and five, Stewart. Passes away for the tight end. Fourier tries to one-hand it, reel it in, and cannot bring it down. Saturday at 1.30 Eastern, 4 Pacific, ABC Sports, Jack Nicklaus, and an elite field in Hawaii. Coverage, Lincoln Mercury, Kapalua International, live at 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific. College football, Miami and uh, Syracuse under the dome. The other regional action, check your local listings or call your cable operator for the games available on pay-per-view. That's next weekend on ABC. Colorado is still 0 for 7 in third down conversion. That is a key stat right there. They haven't converted on third down. That won't this time either. Cordell Stewart threw short of the man way, way, way wide to this side of the field. James Kidd. Just a poor throw, Keith. They had a blitz. They wanted to pressure him. McBride said we're going to try to rattle him. He could have had some time to step up and throw the ball. He threw it a little bit quicker than he needed to. Well, they're 0 for 8. And they trail 24 to 7 with 12 21 to play in the fourth quarter. This is Andy Mitchell to punt. Two men back, Moss and Ball for Nebraska. Oh, back up the field. The Buffaloes touch the ball. Finally at about the 33 yard line. possession you've got to sign up. trucks on the road. It could only come from here, Canada. 
Chuck, the home of ice. Molson Ice. Ice brewed by North America's oldest brewery to be colder and bolder. Yet smooth as ice. Molson Ice. From the land where ice was born. Hundreds of natural forces may affect the survival of your business. And hundreds of companies may say they are as good as AT&T. But only AT&T guarantees that if your long-distance service ever goes down, it'll be back in minutes, not hours. Only our network gives every call a choice of up to 134 routes, so your calls get through, even when you can't. Hi, I heard the phones were down out there. Not mine. AT&T, for the life of your business. Green Bay wants to give the bears a scare, but Chicago wants to send the trick-or-treaters packing. It's a Halloween party on ABC's Monday Night Football. That's our cameraman, Steve Brangle, hiding behind all of that foliage and <laughs> Halloween costuming. That looks like an old cousin of mine. <laughs> hmm. Halloween. Becoming one of the fun weekends of the country. Particularly in the smaller towns where you don't have to worry about buggery. The boys on Monday night ought to come on with uh, some masks. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Do I have to stay up? I, I, I bet they have something up their sleeves. Well, how come you didn't bring yours? <laughs> I forgot mine. Clinton Childs. A little short gain. Two linebackers for Colorado, Russell and Johnson. 16 and 46, doing their job, meeting the guards. That's just pretty good defense there. Russell has 15 tackles. I won't be back from my trick-or-treating until <laughs> late. <laughs> Second down and seven. Ball is at the 41. Looking for some daylight. Styles, 215-pound junior out of Omaha, and they need about three more yards. Here's some news about the Auburn Tigers from John. Well, Keith, Arkansas's defense has been making it tough on the Tigers, but Patrick Nix here on second and 15 finds Frank Sanders behind everyone, wide open, backs into the end zone. 10 to 7 now is the lead. The Tigers on top looking to remain unbeaten. Texas is being blown out, meantime, by Texas Tech, 21 to nothing. Zebby Lethridge with three touchdown passes. Keith. Mm. That was surprising. Third down and three. This is Childs. Will not get there. With Colorado in the full all-out attack mode, that kind of a play takes a little while to evolve, and they ate it up. And you're looking at fourth down. Colorado's defense has stiffened the last four times. That's Russell, 16. He meets the play and stops it. This is the fourth time in a row that Colorado has forced him to kick the ball. Looks like Russell may have hurt his hand. First down, kicking into the wind. Chris Hudson standing back at his 10. Should get the ball uh, short of the... Oh, my goodness, that's a terrific putt into the wind. He got a tight spiral on it and drove them all the way back to the three-yard line, and they tackle him at the six. Huge punt by Erstad. Great coverage by the kicking team. And so once again, the old kicking game pops up. As your engine revs higher, the oil inside creates a hydrodynamic wedge, a protective layer that builds up and keeps engine parts separated. But as your oil's viscosity breaks down, so can the wedge. That's why Kestrel GTX provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. Because if your viscosity breaks down, what's next? Kestrel GTX, engineered for greater protection against breakdown. Try Super Clean, the tough task cleaner degreaser from Kestrel. Financial concerns. Medical problems. Anxiety about the future. 50 million Americans turn for help to one particular company. 
a company whose sole purpose has always been to bring them to a different state of mind. Peace of mind, security, protection, optimism. Peace of mind, it comes with every piece of the rock. your favorite action adventure show you won't have to sit so close to the screen because there's more leg room in the front of a chevy s series than in most full-size trucks chevy trucks like a rock cfa college football on abc sports brought to you by chevrolet trucks the most dependable longest lasting trucks on the road the Optima True Grace card from American Express. Castrol GTX engineered for greater protection against breakdown. And UPS, the package delivery company, more companies count on. All five points by Erstad today have been inside the Colorado 20-yard line. Keith, when the coaches talk about this game tomorrow, they'll talk about field position. For Colorado, 10 possessions have they've started their 10, 10 of their possessions from inside the 28-yard line, and three of them from inside their own 10-yard line. Stewart out of the end zone, throws complete. Ball is caught by Ray Carruth, and gets a big play out of it as he moves all the way to the 25-yard line. Well, they're gonna they go to their two-minute offense now with uh, 9.41 to play. And they've, uh, I mean, it's full throttle. Yeah, it's medal to medal right now. And they've been very successful in this style of offense. This is Salam slashing up the middle and picks up about six yards. Score remains 24-7. Colorado did not score in the ball game until late in the third quarter. Or even threatened, really, until late in the third quarter. I think in the mis the, the play good for the first down in the Michigan game. I thought the Buffaloes kind of dawdled through the third quarter. So in the Texas game they did. And now here in the fourth quarter, here they come. And that's exactly what they're doing today. Stewart gets the ball away, and the pass is incomplete. He had a man lingering on the sidelines, Christian Fourier. And under the pressure, he did not get the ball to him. This is an up-tempo offense now, and sometimes an offense will react when you go to a, a no-huddle, hurry-up style, especially if you haven't, if, if the regular huddle hasn't worked all day, maybe a little change of tempo, and I think uh, uh, that's why uh, some of this stuff with, with Colorado has worked throughout the year, this no-huddle, hurry-up offense. Of course, they, they know how to score either way. Coming up now, six seconds on the uh, snap clock. Get it off with one to spare. Stewart, pass complete to Westbrook. Taken down at the 45 of Nebraska by Tyrone Williams. He's got a first down, and the Buffaloes move the chains again. And here's 20. Well, Keith, with number 16, Matt Russell, the sophomore inside linebacker, left the game. He had a burner, a little pinched nerve, and it's his left arm and shoulder that are affected, but he will be back in the ballgame. Keith? That's 18 tackles from Russell today, too. Westbrook, seven catches now for 99 yards. They go inside with Salam carrying, and he is now over 100. He's something like 130 yards. The reason they're running the ball, yards. Keith, if any of our viewers have been looking, because it's it's a it's a passing situation. It's a hurry up offense, so it's a, this is like a passing drill. And what they're running are like draws. And you got to remember, anytime you give it to Salam, he could go the distance. He's got 126 yards on 21 carries today. Second down and nine. Down the sidelines for Westbrook, and it's too long, incomplete. 
the wind is at Stewart's back, and when you put that much air under the ball, the wind is going to impact it some. And there just was, the, he, he wasn't open. Miles, Baron Miles, the corner, was running stride for stride with him. The thing that I've been impressed with Nebraska, Keith, is, is their tackling. When, 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 when they broke the line of scrimmage, when Salam got through or a receiver got down one-on-one, -on -one, the, the de defensive men from Nebraska made the tackle. It's still, it's still a block lead, blocking and tackling game. Third and nine. Option, Stewart. And down he goes. Great tackle there by Tony Veland. The free safety who was literally right up on the line of scrimmage as that ball was snapped. If Veland doesn't make the tackle, Cordell Stewart runs for 30, 40, maybe a touch. He might be catching his breath in the end zone. Veland came to Nebraska as a quarterback and played quarterback, then moved over. It is fourth and eight. And the Buffaloes are going. Watch Seven the and a half minutes to play. Here they come. And they got him. Ed Stewart, the blitzing linebacker from this side, forced him to step right into Dante Jones. Nebraska wants to do something. They're putting pressure on the quarterback. Stewart. Unblocked. At a convention there, a meeting between the two linebackers back there with Stewart. Lawrence Phillips is the eye back. And Brooks Barringer has changed the play. Got a hurry, got it off just in time. Pitches the ball back to Phillips. Phillips, the ball's rolling around, and Barringer finally has to go back and get it all the way back on the 32-yard line. Phillips never understood what was going to be happening, apparently, and then was not even looking for the pitch when it came. You're exactly right. It was probably a checkoff or some miscommunication between Barringer and Phillips. Huge loss. Nebraska offensively, the last five series have been very sloppy. They've been three plays and out the first four, the, the last four series, and then this play starting this one. 6.45 to play in the game, second down and 27. Ball back on the 33. That's uh, Makovica into the middle, and not much there as he moves it across the 35 to the 36. <laughs> Those are the Big Eight squad. Missouri's might get a win. They're leading Iowa State. That's two teams that have had tough seasons, particularly Iowa State. Kansas State's kind of beat up. Chad May has got to be beat up and sore because he had a tough, tough ball game down in Boulder last week. Phillips was charged with a loss on that last play, so he at one time held Bob Reynolds' record at Nebraska, but he's now given up that record. He has only 82 yards net so far today after that big loss. Barringer's pass down the field. He's got a man wide open. I mean, nobody in town wearing black and white knew that Reggie Ball was running now, down the wait sidelines. Minute, wait a minute. And he threw the thing eight yards over his head. Wait a minute. i got to take up from my quarterback here. <laughs> when he had to throw it, somebody was close. But he, but he did run out of the coverage, but uh, Barringer just threw it about three rows up into the uh, seats. But they had ball out there, really. Gone, gone. That's the wind that got that one, because that going that way is you're throwing into the wind. Here's the punt by Erstad, and taken on the run by Chris Hudson. He's a tough guy, boy. And a penalty flag flies around, and you might even have a face mask here. I didn't see everybody was coming in there clutching and grabbing for Hudson. And that might be the call. No, blocking in the back with hands. Illegal use of hands is the most adequate definition of that. Pushing. That particular call became very obvious in the game of college football when they freed the arms of the offensive line. So the penalty is going to back him up to the 21-yard line with five minutes and 44 seconds to play. On a day like this, 
you're bound to see quite a few great performances on the ice. But few are as gripping as the Lumina minivan. Its available traction control system keeps you sure-footed even in the worst weather. Lumina. It looks different because it is different. Boy, they make it tough to compare, don't they? Hey! Buddy, I'm saying they make it really tough to compare, don't they? I mean, this one is bigger. This one's faster. This one's got more stuff. And am I crazy? Or are all these things all about the same price? How can that be? If they all charge about the same, does that mean that they put them all together the same and they're going to take care of you the same? I don't think so. Every company has an Edwina. The planner, the organizer, the one who tracks your packages. Only today, she's out sick. And you have to track them yourself. Luckily, she uses UPS. Just pop in our tracking software and you'll know when your package was delivered and who signed for it in seconds. Now, if only you could use it to find the bathroom key. Just a reminder, following the game, stick around for the thrifty car rental post-game report. We'll have scores and highlights from around the nation and a wrap-up from Nebraska. Right now, let's go back to Keith. 24-7 ball game. The Cornhuskers lead it over Colorado. 5-44 to play. Buffaloes, to have any hope, have to do something in this possession. From the 21-yard line, first down. Stewart, pressure's coming. Pressure's coming. They've got him down on the 7-yard line. Dwayne Harris and Dante Jones, the two in. Yep, just came like wild men. Exactly right, Keith. Here's a look at what Colorado has done in the second half. They've had the ball six times, one touchdown. They've gone for it on fourth down three times and missed it. But look on the left side where they have started from their own 11, their own 8. Then they got it in Nebraska 36, their own 16, and their own 7. That is field position. That is special teams play. Nebraska has had it today. Second down and 23. Quick pop outside to Salam, who had come out there as a wide receiver, and he makes a big play, moves the ball up to about the 28-yard line. So it'll, it will be a third down and relatively short as Arkansas has gone back to the lead over Auburn in the Southeastern Conference. Danny Ford will have the Hogs back. Believe me. Just give him a little time. And the Wisconsin Badgers cutting loose today against Michigan. Wolverine's schedule was brutal this year, and I think maybe their, their tank's getting a little low. The other surprise was the way that uh, Arizona State winning there, Notre Dame beating Navy, I don't think so. It was a face mask call, so it'll be a first down now as the ball is moved out to the 33. And Stewart wants to throw again and does. Going big downfield, it's too long. It was intended for Michael Westbrook. Tyrone Williams was trying to run with him. Total yards in the ball game, it's 300 for Colorado and 314 for Nebraska, and these are the games that come on the second half of the doubleheader. Ohio State, Penn State, Virginia Tech, Miami, Battle of the Carolinas, and out west, it's Arizona, Oregon. That's a very big ball game, Arizona, Oregon. Yes, it is. Oregon wins that game, and uh, they're sitting pretty for the Rose Bowl. Well, yeah, they're not in yet. This is Salam running up the middle to the 40 because they lost to Washington State 21-7, and the Cougars are not out of it because they have USC coming in and then Arizona has to go over and play USC, and Oregon uh, has to play out the schedule. And funny things happen up in, in the Willamette Valley sometimes. Uh -huh. Stewart hit as he throws. It is an incomplete forward pass. Again, Dante Jones. Jones has really had a rousing second half of defensive play. The defensive end who only weighs 220 pounds He's an ex-linebacker, runs a 4-6-40, and that's... That's Tony Birdie down on the field. Yeah. Colorado today, and this is a very definitive step. The Buffaloes are 0 for 10 on third down conversions. Third down. 
and they've also lost uh, the battle of the special teams. The field yep. position, they have lost field position on every uh, punt. I thought coming into the game that the single individual, if I were going to put my finger on a man as Tony Verdi walks off, that would play a role in the outcome of the game for Colorado would be Hudson because he's the guy that gives you field position on kick return, mm -hmm. but he's not been able to. Well, it's been the coverage team of Nebraska. That's taken it away. That have gotten down, and the punter who has hung the ball up and not allowed him to get any yardage. Yep. Fourth down and three for Colorado. Ball was in the air as James Kidd made his turn. Couldn't come back to it. And they miss on fourth down again. And at 4.18 to play in the ball game, Nebraska will take over. And they take over on the Colorado side of the field at the Buffalo 40-yard line. So as we said at the opening, Keith, that Nebraska wanted to get after and put pressure on Cordell Stewart. He had not played well in the game last year. They felt like he was the pulse of this offense. If they could get after him and rattle him a little bit, not give him time to operate, that they would have uh, this offense solved, and they have. Nebraska, on the other hand, has been a bit sloppy offensively in the second half. They try it inside. It's a breaker for Makovica. And a first down for the Cornhuskers. Jeff Makovica tears through a hole on the left side of the line and gets inside the 15-yard line. No, it's the slight of hand of Tom Osborne. The fullback's going to get it. A little cross block up front. Sty number 66 is the guard. Where'd it go? There it is, 22. <laughs> the sleight of hand of Tom Osborne. Loves to use his fullbacks and his tight ends when you don't think they're coming at you. They mark him just short on the first bounce of the 15-yard line. He was almost down at the line of scrimmage, but just kept turning. This is Phillips. And Nebraska's looking for the door slammer right here. They move the ball down to the 11-yard line. Three minutes and 35 seconds to play in the ball game. If they stick it in here, it's a see you later. Well, my friend, let me ask you a question. You ain't gonna like it, but let me ask you. <laughs> we've seen Penn State twice, and we've seen Colorado and Nebraska three times. Yep. Where do you where, where do you go with those three teams? I mean. I don't have a vote. Where do you go with Nebraska and Penn State? Damon Benning is the tailback. I'll tell you in a minute. Damon Benning. Rook Sparinger keeps the ball, comes back inside with it. And there's maybe a yard there for it. Uh, what do I, what do you want him to eat? I think Penn, uh, I think Penn State, uh, if I had a vote, and I don't, I would uh, vote Penn State number one, Nebraska number two. They're and I would buy the first ticket to go see to him go play. To go see him play, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. But uh, there's no question that this, this thing playing itself out, and it's, you know, it may play it out before the, uh, the bowl games, but yeah, might. definitely two outstanding teams. This is Damon Benning trying to turn the corner. Tom Osborne obviously showing here that he feels he's got all the points he needs. Well, he hasn't done anything in the second half. He's just uh, three and out. Take a, this is why he doesn't want Beringer to have any problems. Look who is behind Beringer. Turman is a, is a sophomore walk-on. Monte Cristo is a true freshman walk-on. And behind him is the student manager and uh, a wide receiver who used to play quarterback in high school. Cornhuskers have called timeout. Exactly two minutes to play in the game, and they lead 24 to 7. I was shocked to learn that most ordinary credit cards charge interest from the moment you buy something, if you carry a balance as little as a dollar. Thankfully, American Express has introduced a new credit card called the Optima True Grace Card. You get an interest-free grace period on each new purchase, even when you carry a balance. It's a good thing. But don't just throw away your old credit cards. Recycle them. I'm retiling my pool. Apply today and cut your interest charges. You think aftershaves have to hurt to work? Uh-uh. Put yours here. Uh. 
sensitive from Old Spice here. Ah. This doesn't take the sting out of aftershave. Call, and they'll buy you a bottle of yours. Come on, take the sensitive challenge. I did. Polaroid asked me, Sinbad needs supermodels to demonstrate the sleek, stylish Captiva camera. It holds the pictures inside the camera's special pocket so you take them out and put them in a, your pocket. <laughs> My pocket. <laughs> the Polaroid Captiva. My hands were steady. My eyes were clear and bright. My walk had purpose. My steps were quick and light. These are the men and women who make Chevy trucks. I held firm to what I felt was right. Like a rock. Considering the quality of our people, it's no wonder they build the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. Oh, like a rock. Dr. Tom, Ph.D., quarterback, Hastings College, came to Lincoln as a coach, assisting Bob Devaney, stayed as the head coach, and almost surely will retire here. Class man, I guess. Yes, sir. Reed. Fourth down and three. Beringer getting some pressure, runs away from it. And then slides down. The tight ends were covered for once. <laughs> First time all day, I think. Yeah, he was looking for it. 150 to play. And uh, the genuine Chevrolet most valuable players of the game are Rashan Salam for Colorado. 21 carries, 134 yards, and a touchdown. Good day for Nebraska. And as much as anything, though he's had, I think, a terrific second half as a defensive end, Dante Jones gets the vote to represent the Nebraska defense because they have been tremendous. Chevrolet donating $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to help those in financial need. Coy Detmer is in the ball game now at quarterback for the Colorado Buffaloes. Coy Detmer, 6'1", and they say 170 pounds, but I tell you what, when you stand next to him, you just don't believe it. <laughs> Ty Detmer's uh, younger brother, of course, and I mean he can whistle that ball. And you're taking a look at the future right here for Colorado. They lose seven starters on offense and seven on defense, so this team is going to be a little bit different next year, but Detmer will be throwing a lot of footballs. On second down and one, Herschel Trotman, another freshman, a running back from Naples, Florida, is belted down short of the line of scrimmage. So another tough day for Cordell Stewart. Cordell could write a book about tough days against Nebraska Cornhuskers. Third and four. Penalty flag as Detmer throws. And the ball ricochets away from Bill Savoy. So let's be about, uh, see about the flag. It came from one of the linesmen. Procedure against the Buffaloes. Clock stops at 111. So 76,131, making up Nebraska's 200th consecutive home sellout, came on what really is an historic afternoon at Memorial Stadium at the University of Nebraska. And it's fourth down with the score 24-7 and only 1-11 to play. Mitchell is sent in to punt. So I would think now that uh, everybody will sort of clear their bench and let everybody get a taste of it. Those who have never been involved should get a taste of it because it's in their future. Of course, the Big 8 is on its way to becoming the Big 12 eventually. And these two will remain. There's been a good deal of conversation about whether or not this amounts to a real rivalry as that punt rolls dead back at the 28-yard line. If it's not a rivalry, I sure would hate to see anything tougher than this one. So Andy Mitchell will help his punting average with that bounce and roll. And at 50 seconds, 57 seconds to play in the game, Nebraska has a chance to run it out as Matt Terman, the sophomore from Wahoo, 
comes in at quarterback. Young fella got a bruise on his shoulder in the Missouri game as he was playing in relief Beringer. I think one of the reasons, Keith, that uh, Nebraska dropped a little bit in the polls four or five weeks ago is when Tommy Frazier was hurt and Beringer uh, came in and was hurt. The voters saw what was behind uh, Frazier and Beringer and said just walk-ons, and so I think that is one of the reasons why they dropped them in the polls. Turner Gill will have a happy night. Of course, uh, the quarterbacking is falls within his coaching arena. Turner, of course, a great player here. And it'll be a particularly happy weekend for him because he and his wife, Gail, just welcomed their second baby girl to the family, Margot. On Thursday. Uh -huh. Congratulations, Turner. He was something running that option. Oh, was he? Oh, my goodness. So with 57 seconds left, it's first down Nebraska. The ball is at their own 28-yard line. Ball is handed away to Damon Benning. And Benning does not get back to the line of scrimmage. Play was made by number 59, Greg Jones for Colorado. So it was the big play. It was this week's game of the century. And it goes to Nebraska. Decisively, 24 to 7. Penn State is playing Ohio State for much of the country in the second half of our doubleheader here on ABC Sports. Benning working his way into the traffic again, just running off the clock. That should do it. Lynn Swan will be talking to Tom Osborne in just a couple of moments as the time ticks away and the Nebraska Cornhuskers remain undefeated and certainly no worse than second in the nation. 24 to 7.